Greetings and good time zone. I hope people are doing well today. I want to just kind of go and just do some dying. Uh, that'll do. Oh, I can't go there. Never mind. <gasps> bar panada. Ah, bar panada. Hi, FLC. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. I have not been here? Ow. <laughs> hmm. I want to remedy that. Plus <laughs> seven James Bond MI6. Okay, Puncher. Hi, how are you today? I hope you're well. Uh, I very rarely tried them, but I like them. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, where was it again? No. Nope. Oh, it doesn't keep the map. Uh, I just want to try a different change of colour. It's here. From the lower decks, which I'm at the lower decks. Oh, no, nope. that way. Let's just go and do some digging real... Actually, no, it's logging. Okay, let's go and do some digging of trees. <laughs> I just fancied a change of colour. So I'm going with kind of red with a mix of purple. But first, I need to go and get this aetherite. I mean, I have an idea why I don't have it, because I don't really spend any time in this zone. this and off we go. Oh, it would probably help if I change to my botanist. Swoop on now, I'll just collect a bunch of it real quick. I've joined a fate. <laughs> no, I haven't. What is this? Hmm. Excuse me. Get the last one. Although there is one there as well. Oh, I like that music. <laughs> okay. I also really need to do gathering quests because I'm level 60 now on my on most of my gatherers. Fisher, I think I need to go to Idleshire or Idleshire. Um I think which I don't have access to yet. <laughs> but my miner is 61 and my botanist is also 61. Uh, but let's go over to Foundation because it's cheap, as in free. I, 
I haven't got a max level yet, but fishing will be. <laughs> Case in point, uh, it's still my highest level. <laughs> oh no, it's not. Culinarian overtook it. Never mind. I need to get on that. <clears throat> I haven't been fishing in a long, long, long time. cooking. You have all the materials, thank you. Job's done. <laughs> and then let's just do ten of them. Just because it's a right nice round number. I'm floating. <laughs> I haven't had the look at what this set looks like dyed. If it can be dyed, oh, it can. I could go completely red. That actually doesn't look too bad. the boots. <laughs> yeah, they definitely are fly boots. I think I'm going to leave that as it is though. So let's switch back to my machinist. I want to dye these slightly darker. That feels better. But I also want to see what these are like. Should go, should go full. Yeah, let's try it. And I can't dye the hat, which I'm fine with. And I can't dye the boots either, which I'm fine with. Update gear. So we're going all red today. And then we need to. Wonder if it's cheaper. Not that I need to really save money just on teleports. I'm just interested. And then we need to go make bird friends. Yes. But which one? It sends me to this one. Oh well, never mind, I'll teleport. <laughs> it's only a hundred. Oh, there's actually three? Okay. We do need to go back though. Uh, that way. Because <laughs> I remember I left Alf, you know, instead of, you know, talking to him. He's probably going to tell me to come and make friends with the bird people. I think. Yeah. Hey, Alf, you know. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> yeah. It's like, why did you run off to do the mission? Why did you stay here? And it's not been 24 hours. It's been 22. <laughs> Though the Galleans were searching for the Archbishop and believed that the Vanu Vanu knew something of his whereabouts. 
Methods notwithstanding, they may have had the right of it. I conclude that we should accept the Lone Vanu's offer of hospitality and visit his village. I was talking about saving money. Eh. <laughs> I'll just charge Alf in her later. Oh, what's that? You need me to save you? 100 gil, please. Like breeze guides leaves to rest, come and lay down your burdens, netherlings. Lonu Vanu throws wide arms in greeting. Behold, Okzundu. Ok or is it OK Zundu? Hmm. <laughs> A far warmer welcome than one you received from the Vundu, I think. Ha! Vundu bluster and blow hither and yon, sound and fury like aimless gale. Eh? <laughs> eh, nanny? <laughs> what unseen lightning begets such thunderous report? Sound like an airship battle. Oh, are they fighting Bismarck? So that sounds like a whale. There you are. Did you see it? It's that damned flying whale again. The Imperials are after it. Where? The white? He's wounded. Okay. By the twelve, did the beast just eat that island? Oh, insatiable white, oh, devourer of worlds, why you must. Why must you torment us? Bah! Lono Vanu wastes no more words on his unfathomable deeds. Come, Netherlings, come and break words with our chief of Zundu. Oh, turn around. You're going to tell us to go up those stairs now, or is this... <laughs> Zumdu, sell it? Are you a merchant? <laughs> Fair enough. I have to see what you have. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's better. Actually, no. It's only better with the crit hit and the direct hit. No, the direct hit's even worse. I guess that's the difference between a white item and a blue item, even if this is nine item levels higher. Also, what did it look like? <laughs> yeah, no. I like my hat. I do want to look at that though. Is that the one that I have on right now? No, that was my old one that I got. But then I changed it back because of the green. 
because there were no really good green colors to dice to go with it. Yeah, I'm guessing that's just the difference. Ooh, they're not too bad, but I do like my current boots. However, I want to see tools. Um, I I won't be replacing this because I bought this off the mar off the market boards. But that's item level 55. 100, it's a primary tool, 180 and 97. I could probably quest for better though, potentially. Uh, that's dark chestnut fishing road, 161, 92, 167, 90, yeah. I'll probably end up questing for them anyway. But the weapons... Yeah, the Galahorn's easily going to be better if it's a green. Yeah, okay. Okie dokie. Lono Vanu. With wisdom deep as net, there's an eyes clear as cloudless blue. Sonu Vanu speaks for Zundu. Hearken to his words. Can we get voice acting, please? Oh, god damn you! Nedlings deliver Lonu Vanu from claws of steel shod fiends and prove nobility. He knows not to ignore Zephyr winds and brings before you with all haste. Which is funny because my chocobo is called Zephyr. <laughs> Soft rains to soothe the heart and sunshine to warm. Gratitude of Sonu, chief of Zundu, is boundless. We are honoured to meet you, Chief Sonu. I am Alfino Levelia, and these are my companions, Zerebrit and Sid Garland. We are come in search of an airship, a flying vessel of the Nethers, which we believe is somewhere in the Cloud Sea. Ah, like to black steel shod contraption from which you save Lonu Vanu? Alas, no. The sh that ship belongs to the Galian Empire, an old enemy of ours. Though not the enemy we are looking for at present. The men we seek wear armour of purest white and are led by an older man in white robes. Wait, Lonu Vanu hear tell of these netherlings? You do? Are you certain? As sun rises and falls and returns, we are. Zundu scouts can testify to words of Lonu Vanu. Aye, aye, winds carry purpose of netherlings to our ears as well. Netherlings seek key to Aziz Lair. Aziz La. <laughs> Whenever someone says I, I always immediately want to give them a Scottish accent. Hi, laddie. Hi. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. Tell us, Chief Sonu, what exactly is this Aziz La? Beware, Netherlings, for blackest clouds portend greatest danger. Look not into heart of tempest. There lies ancient, ancient birthplace of sin, home of forbidden secrets. To speak more is to call the wind. But the white devours isle where key is kept. Deep within bowels of mighty Bismarck it lies, beyond reach of the foolhardy. Oh, okay. And beyond ours. Rejoice not in his gluttony, Lonu Vanu. For as stone gives away to water and wind, all yields to the white. This he knows, Chief Sonu. Madness of Vundu bodes ill for all Vanu. Oh, 
Aha! <laughs> I was wondering. This seems like a like a great place to put, although I guessed wrong. An aether current. How many have I got left of those? Just one, the rest are quests. Am I missing a zone? Hang on. Two clouds, Curthus. Imperium. Oh, Dravan Dravanian Hinterlands, okay. So that's potentially there or there. Must be, is that Imperium? Missing. Okay. Hey, I might be able to get to my machinist quest. <laughs> Let's go and talk to Al for now. It's funny, whenever Tataru is not around, Alfino is always the shortest character by far. So, Azisla is home to forbidden secrets, accessible only to the bearer of a key which the Archbishop covets. Much as I would like to believe it safe within the belly of Bismarck, the Knights of the Heavens Ward wield primal powers. If we do not slay the white whale and claim the key first, they surely will. Quite how we will go about it is another matter, as was the case in our battle with Leviathan. We are out of our element, and this time we have far fewer allies to call upon. Be that as it may, our customary approach still holds true. We must begin by learning more about the White. Let us each question the residents of the village, then regroup it and share our findings anon. The White Whale. Uh, zoom in again. What's up, Lonavani? If Netherlings seek knowledge of the White, then speak with Kunu Vali, foremost keeper of tales. But neglect not to present self with humility and respect. As sun yields to moon and moon to sun, Netherlings must greet Kunu Vali with a bow. <laughs> Can you imagine if you misread that? They must meet him with a bow. Okay, changing to bard. <laughs> Wait, what? Zephyr winds at your back and sunshine to warm your brow, traveller from below. Kunu Valley, keeper of tales, hears your words, and she remembers. In times long ago in lands elsewhere, before even the clouds see, the white is one among many. Newborn, he swims beside his many brothers in seas of endless water. But hated the white is, for his brothers are purest black. So great is their contempt, their loathing, that they turn upon him and rend his flesh asunder. And so he falls, only to rise again, for merciful gods raise him to the heavens, and there he is reborn. The white still longs for the sea to which he cannot return, but in rebirth a splinter of the divine is shared, and so he opens his maw, from whence come the clouds, and a new sea is born, home to him alone. Content, he gazes below and sees others who are 
as he, hated and hunted. He weeps, and in his benevolence he raises up isles of earth and guides these people to the cloud sea. Such is the tale of his rebirth and the salvation of the Vanu. May it never be forgot. What? <laughs> but this demon which menaces the cloud sea, his rage is that of the Vundu, his hunger that of a wild beast. The isles are his gift to us, yet now he must consume them. Kunu Valley knows no tales like this. And, and here I am, riding a cloud myself. <laughs> Dum -ba -dum. Dum -ba -dum. I think I do like the reddish purple. So according to the Vanu Vanu, the Sea of Clouds and the Floating Isles were gifts from Bismarck to his people, mostly because it matches my hair colour. <laughs> gifts which he has taken to eating, yes. Technically within his rights, I suppose, if perhaps a little ungenerous. Gods, eh? <laughs> but what of you, Alfino? Did you learn art of value? Or oat of value? <laughs> Alas, no. That is, unless you have an interest in the intricacies of Vanu sky fishing. I do. Sky fishing! <laughs> Just go and dive off the edge. Fishing! Sky fishing? My gods, that's it. Alphino, my boy, I could kiss you. We're going to fish up the whale. From what we have observed, Bismarck is a creature of pure instinct, driven primarily by hunger. When wounded by the Imperials, it fled, but not before devouring another island to restore its strength. What I propose is this. We tow a suitably appetizing isle island through the Sea of Clouds, in essence, fishing for our flying whale. Once we draw Bismarck out of hiding, we shall use dragon killers to fire grapnels into the beast's hide and then reel it in close, enabling our resident icon slayer to engage it directly. A bold plan, Master Garland, but an exceedingly dangerous one. Should Zera fail to subdue the creature, she would almost certainly be eaten, along with the rest of your appetizing island. Now fight from within. No, she won't fail, and if anything does go wrong, I'll be at the helm of the Enterprise, ready to tow her out of trouble. I wouldn't entrust a task like this to anyone else. Nor I. I trust you have no objections to my joining you as well? Not at all. The more the merrier. Right then, it seems the boys and I have a lot of work to do if the Enterprise is to be ready for our fishing trip. While you two need to find me some bait, and not just any island mind, I want a mouthful at most. Ooh, there's the first one. Alfino loves it when a plan comes together. Oh, slow down, Hannibal. Well, you heard, Sid. We need an island to bait the hook. By way of a first step, I propose we speak with Chef... Oh, Chef? Chief Sonu. If the Zundu are as concerned by Bismarck's behaviour as they have given to us to believe, they may well be supportive of our efforts to slay him. We got two blues. Are you gonna be more aether currents, please? Plez. Hey, <laughs> yay. Nedling's coming is fortuitous as late season rains. Guna Vanu and Guna Vanu's family faces desperate times. His brother verges on failing Zundu's rite of passage. Again. 
All Vanu Vanu in Okzundu must undergo rites of passage for respect of others in tribe, otherwise no better than nestling. Brother fails trials seven times, must try for the eighth time soon. Eight times? No Vanu Vanu ever, ever fails trial eight times. If brother fails again, gales of laughter from others in tribe show him family until day sun in sky no longer burns. Oh, okay, you're gonna shame him until the heat death of the universe as well, <laughs> might as well. Gunu Vanu sees netherling help others like wind which brings seeds to bloom, and Guna Vanu would ask for her help as well. Rite of passage rules very strict, but Guna Vanu has plan. Rules forbid aid from other members of tribe, but say nothing of netherlings. Help my brother and quell impending storm of derision for our family faces. Brother's name is Gunu Vanu, and he roosts. Ah, uh, Guna Vanu knows not where. Brother's temperament changes faster than breeze in autumn. Ask other Vanu Vanu and seek him out. Or Gunu Vanu stays nestling forever. Ganu Vali. Nedling seeks out Gunu Vanu. He is skilled at two things, finding shade for napping and running away when Chief gives work. Newborn Hatchling works harder than him. Okay, but now, give me this. <laughs> Ganu Valley cannot escape unending thunderstorm of buzzing bugs and desires sleep more than rain during summer drought. Ganu Valley has idea to soothe bugs as droning, but delirious from exhaustion. Netherling goes in Ganu Valley's stead. To east lies gurgle grass, which devours bugs as Vanu hatchlings feast on Wamura camp of meat. Netherling brings Ganu Valley three, and storm in ears recedes to dull drizzle. I need to talk to three others. Oh, now they load up. Konu Vanu. Gunu Vanu never where he should be. While other Vanu work, Gunu Vanu soars like Griffin in his dreams. Konu Vanu not see him since sunrise. Nedling finds Gunu Vanu easily. Look under every tree in village. Gunu Vanu follows shade as sunset follows sunrise. Say to Gunu Vanu, wake up and Nedling come to no true meaning of panic. Okay. He's over there? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go and get this quest. Boom. Sonu Vanu. The Tramontane is upon us, the white feasts, and the Vundu rejoice in his carnage. Hear me, Chief Sonu, this creature which torments you now is not the deity who raised up the floating isles and made a gift of them to you. He is a perversion of your beliefs given form by the Vundu, a false saviour who consumes that which he should rightfully safeguard. Yet it need not be his way, Chief Sonu. We have the power to strike down this imposter, but we must beg of you an island to see it done. Moats against the tempest, in vain do they struggle. Yet who is Sonu to speak of what may be? Perhaps even the Tremontaine can turn to the po ponent? <laughs> Very well, Netherlings. When you are ready, tell Zundu scouts what manner of island you require and they guide you to it. We shall not fail, Chief Sonu. On that you have my word. Come, Zara, let us see how Sid's preparations are progressing. Is he all the way down here?
Oh, he's all the way over here. He is. Okay. Can't jump there because there is nothing below. Keep mistaking the wind elementals or air elementals as aether currents. Like I just look over and I'm like oh, aether current, aether current, aether current. No, it's a wind elemental. I found shade. I did. Maybe it's key sensitive. <laughs> or maybe it's because I was mounted. That's probably it. Ah, Gunu Vanu awake. Yes, he is. Gunu Vanu works, works hard. A netherling? No wings, fleshy beak? Not Vanu, certainly. Netherlings should not sneak up on Vanu Vanu that slumbers. Claws cut sharper than fear scale. Just try it, buddy. What? Gunu Vanu's brother sends Netherling to help with rite of passage? Gunu Vanu passes right and is no longer a nestling? Heavens shine on Gunu Vanu this day. Worry of failing eight times weighs heavy on heart. But now with Nedling's help, Gunu Vanu casts off weight and soars higher than any Okzundu imagines. But... I didn't help. What? Oh Jesus, you're way over there. Okay. Thought you'd be closer. Christ. Because I think I'm missing one more aether current in the wild. Travel aether current. Yeah, one. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Knew that at aggro. Fine. Let me end you. That name though, Ibuprofen. <laughs> Have you got a headache? <laughs> Our Ishgardian friends have furnished us with dragon killers and ammunition and have taken the liberty of procuring a Magitech field generator as well. Rest assured, we've changed to spare every link forged by the manufacturer's master craftsman. If you have any lingering doubts as to their strength, know that they were originally intended to bind dragons and were not found wanting. It pleases me to inform you that the Vanu Vanu have agreed to furnish us with an island of our choosing. Then all that remains is to confirm the readiness of the poor buggers who will actually be doing the fighting. Zera, let Wedge know when your party is assembled. Right now. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but I don't like this plan. I don't like it one little bit. 
but I can't help being excited all the same. So tell me, Zara, are you ready to hunt the white whale? Yes. After you then, Zara. All aboard. The limitless blue hard. Now accessible. Okay. This potentially take a while. So let's go over here. Sleepless in Okazundu. Watch it. Now that I've decided to go and do something else, it's going to be like, nope, ready. <laughs> oh, groundskeepers. Okay, are we in Tulia? <laughs> Actually, that makes sense. <laughs> But do they self-destruct? <laughs> Google grass. Well, it probably wants me to go up. Come on. Really? I can't jump? Okay. Do, 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 do. Where is the last one? If I was evil, I'd put it around here. Nope. just blind. It's very possible. Or it's further up. Nope, it's over there. I'm just blind. Here though, because I do have my machinist quest. Will you let me through? Do I care? basket By all rights, I should probably be checking what the fight's like. <laughs> but let's wing it. Usually they're decent with giving you warnings of attacks. <laughs> the 
it's an easy fight if the tanks know what to do. We're doomed! Is there anything major I should know about it? Other than that? Like, what do the tanks need to know to do? Is it important for me to know? <laughs> so let's just teleport back. Oh, you can fall off the island. Are there any knockbacks? <laughs> Is it instant death? Because I imagine it would be. Nedling brings rest at last. Ganu Valley's troubles become sustenance for the gurgle grass, and big wheel of nature turns without hindrance. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, great. <laughs> Thanks for the extra worry, FLC. He calls Zundu Fix It. What's it called again? Limitless Blue. Oh, not extreme hard. <laughs> yes, there are snakes. Why has it always got to be snakes? Fight begins with Bismarck instantly dealing a damaging blow to the platform as well as spawning two adds. Players should deal with the adds which can cause knockback while avoiding any AoEs. Periodically players will see Bismarck do a specific dive animation. This is the signal that the shield device should be activated as Bismarck is about to ram the platform. Failing to activate the shield device or activating it too early will lead to an increased amount of damage being taken by the platform. Okay. For a certain amount of time, a message will appear stating that the harpoons are active. Players should activate these as soon as possible. Failing to do so will lead to Bismarck disabling them and leading to another cycle. Once both harpoons are active, Bismarck will be chained to the side of the platform and its chitin will be targetable. Players can only cause damage to the chitin while physically on Bismarck though. This will cause a dot to appear on said players. Players should ideally destroy the chitin in one cycle, although two cycles is fine, as failing to destroy it quick enough will cause Bismarck to pull away and repeat its initial actions adds ramming the platform, etc. Once its kiting has been destroyed, phase two, once its kiting has been destroyed, uh, Bismarck will pull away from the platform again and summon two larger adds. These should be dealt with quickly by keeping them spread apart. They have a huge defense buff if near each other. Okay. At the same time, tornadoes will appear. Bismarck will also periodically summon a set of exploding bubbles. We're also going to run an ad real quick. Because of this coming up. Watch me immediately get the pop up now for the fight. We've got plenty of DPS. And Bismarck will also periodically summon a set of exploding bubbles which players should avoid. After a certain amount of time or after both the adds are killed, Bismarck will return and cast a raid wide AoE before once returning to the side of the platform. During this, the shield device will also break, essentially setting a harder limit on how long the encounter can last. If any of the adds are still alive, this attack will most likely cause a wipe. <laughs> Great! This fucking face... God damn it! Commands. I have to...
I knew it. <laughs> Glad they know what to do. Tornado! That was a lucky <laughs> positioning on me. <laughs> This is a really fun fight in the fact that you have to dodge so much and you don't have the biggest space. Seems I've found a sweet spot. Nope, now I haven't. Ah. Ow. 
What? I just got nuked. <laughs> He said, please heal me. <laughs> You've seen so many leap off the edge. <laughs> that would be a dragon thing to do, though. I'm guessing I was stood too close to another person. Uh oh. When the lightning bolt hit, so I took double damage. Okay, was that it? <laughs> that almost was very sin-like disappearance, just without all the particles. Let's do a tear. Oh, that's the key. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> that it swallowed. Oh, are we going to get... Is it the fourth one? Or is it the fifth? I think it's the fourth. Because don't we have like blue, green and pink? So... Ice... Oh no, yellow. Ice... Earth... Wind now and lightning before. Warrior light, beloved. Adelin, all made. Darkness, like to none known. Harker, receiver. Blessing. Small. Small? <laughs> so no time to be eating? God. Oh, God. So falls the Lord of Mists, as did all others before him. Oh. <laughs> Voice acting, I can leave them be. How many times does this make, warrior of light? Ah, how much you have grown. Far beyond the limits of mere mortals. She has what we seek. That she does. The key to Azizla and the secrets of Alag.
I see you have regained the blessing of light, albeit at a fraction of its former strength. My thanks to you, Asian, and to you as well, Warrior of Light, for saving us the effort of slaying Bismarck. Now that the key is within our grasp, the path to the heavens shall at last be laid bare. Fancy. Oh, I'm gonna kill you so bad. No, no, you can't try By our deeds shall the wrongs of antiquity be righted, and man reclaim the reins of history. Oh. Not gonna lie, it looks kind of amazing. But yeah, it's like I know the Assyrians can't be like killed absolutely right now. We can only kind of trap one as Moonbreeder did. <laughs> Which is why I'd be like, I would kill you so bad again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> Forgive me, Zera. Had I known what was happening, mayhap I could have done something to stop them. Alas, Wedge and I were still sealed within the engine room and heard naught of the struggle until it was over. And now for all our efforts, the Archbishop holds the very thing we sought to keep from him. But all is not lost, for we yet live, and we know their destination. Let us give chase and bring an end to their machinations. ba 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 ba, -ba. Oh, I'm upset. When asked if he had a granddaughter, what would he like to see her name? The Ironworks founder replied, Gertrude. Though we failed to secure the key, we must not forget that we succeeded in ridding the realm of another primal and prevented the Vanu Vanu's lands from being consumed in, doing, in so doing. The Zundu, at least, shall be glad of our deeds this day. Let us go and inform Chief Sonu of our victory. Sid and the others will need a moment to tend to the Enterprise, besides. 
Whoa. Are you teleporting me there? <laughs> it seems like you are. Uh, Wait, something is amiss. Is it going to be Galleons? Damn it. Imperial troops. And they have already secured the area. Reveal yourselves at once. No. <laughs> And there I was, expecting more beastmen. Who are you? Your worst nightmare. I thought his guardians responsible for the disappearance of our scouts, but I see now that I was mistaken. Just as Wire observed. The Warrior of Light is wont to appear at the most inopportune times. For you, yes, not for me. The Warrior of Light? She who bested Van Bailsar? It would seem that the famous hero of Eosia seeks Aziz Lar as well. Hardly unexpected. The secrets of the Alagans' power to bind icons to their will could scarcely fail to interest the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. You know as well as we what will ensue should these insatiable creatures be allowed to roam free. That their very existence threatens the life of this star. We but disagree on the solution to the problem. Genocide has ever been the Empire's favored recourse. And that is why we will continue to oppose your every attempt to claim Eorzea. You do not hesitate to speak your mind, even when your every word could be your last. Alas, your sentiments betray the narrowness of your view. The fate of Eorzea and its inhabitants is of little concern next to the fate of the world. Tis my solemn charge as Emperor to bring the Icons to heal. If this requires the extermination of certain elements, then so be it. No, don't! They are not his thralls! Where did that come from? Yeah. Take cover! Oh! Your radiance, we must withdraw. But she's in a magic tech armor. Oh. They're always just so excessive. We shall meet again, warrior of light. On that you have my word. We're going to need a bigger boat. The thing is almost as big as one of these islands. So Garlemald too has designs on Azislar. 
But why would the Emperor himself elect to lead the expedition? Maybe the throne room was stuffy and he wanted some air? <laughs> Again, it's just the little things. The fact that she's tending to the armour right after that cutscene. Because it could have potentially taken damage from the blast from the heavens. <laughs> Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would stand less than 20 paces from the Emperor of Galamon. Galamold. I want to say Mond. Varys Zos Galvus in the flesh. I assume the commander that accompanied him must be the Legatus of whom the Centurion spoke. Ah, forgive me, this is neither the time nor the place for idle speculation. Pray return to the Enterprise at once. It occurs to me that our friends may have run afoul of Imperial forces as well. I have yet to apprise Chief Sonu of all that has occurred, but once I have, we will rejoin you at the airship. So also in the previous cutscene with the connecting uh, gems, I guess, or crystals, crystals would be better. Um, depending on if that blue is ice, which I think it is, we've still got fire and water to go. So anyway, where am I headed? All the way back there. Oh god damn it. Fine. So we got the ice one. Yeah, it's probably ice because of Shiva. We got lightning from like all the dragons. Where did we get earth from? Can't remember. And then we just got wind, obviously. Well, yeah, but I mean in the context of this, because we fought Titan ages ago. And it's not as if we've fought like Rama or Ramu for the lightning. Uh, oh, need to switch you back. Thank the 12 you're alive, Zera. When that battleship appeared and fired on the village, we feared the game was up for you and Alfino. What in the seven hells happened out there? First the Archbishop turns up with an Asian in tow, and now the God's damned Emperor pays us a visit. What is this, a procession of notable bastards? Who's next, the Keeper of the Seventh Bloody Gate? Yeah, I think Shiva was the second one. No one so notable, Master Garland. I am happy to report that the Zundu were overjoyed to learn of Bismarck's de Dismar uh, demise. Chief Sonu sends his warmest regards, Zera. There was much talk of westerly winds. God, I do like the look. I'm glad I changed colour. The blue was nice, don't get me wrong, but this just... It works with the hair and the feather and everything. And I understand why Final Fantasy XIV Endgame is fashion. <laughs> Miraculously, none suffered lasting harm during the raid. It would seem the Zundu were taken entirely unawares and wisely chose to offer no resistance. Like, it wouldn't surprise me if they added, like, a raid where you have to do a catwalk. <laughs> I sense they have no more to fear from the Empire, for the present at least. Had the Emperor truly been intent on their extermination, Ok Zundu would have already been levelled. 
Plainly, Varys is only interested in reaching Azislar. Speaking of which, if you're all ready to continue the chase, the Enterprise is as well, shall we? <laughs> Yay, wind up soon. No. And would be best to actually use it. Oh, we got Bismarck card. I really need to start playing Triple Triad. I also need to turn all of these in for seals. Wait. What? <laughs> I mean, they're okay for now. I just saw it and I'm not able to wear it and I was like, wait a minute. They're decent enough, I guess. I prefer the old boots, though. Can I glamour plate here? No, can't. Anyway. Sid. Meet Sid. <laughs> that is so adorable. <laughs> oh, he's got a hammer. He's so cute. Look at him. He looks so angry. <laughs> anyway. Certainly doesn't take up much space. I would love to see that throughout the game's progression the Enterprise to get it upgraded. Though if it's going to live up to the Star Trek Enterprise, it's going to get blown up over and over again and we're going to get like Enterprise D. Lest you wonder, Wedge was able to calculate the heading indicated by the beam of light emit emitted by the key. If Azisla lies in that direction, we'll find it. The Soleil may have a lead on us, but she's no Enterprise. We'll catch them. You'll see. Warp Factor 9. Engage. I would hate to fly on one of these things. <laughs> the safety barriers are lack of. <laughs> I did not think that I would ever have occasion to pilot a suit of Magitek armor again. Least of all under these circumstances. My full name is Lucia Go Junius, and I was born a citizen of Garlemald. Okay. Ah, that explains it. When we first met in Ishgard, I very nearly called you Livia. Livia? Livia Sass Junius? The tribunus who served under Gaius van Bailsar? Aye, she was my sister, though we spent little time together. After our parents were killed in an uprising, we were sent to live in different households, setting us on separate paths. Livia felt at home on the battlefield and chose to become a soldier, while I underwent training to become a spy. Then, Ishgard was... My mission. It was believed that Alagan relics of great worth were stored in the vault, 
and I was sent to investigate. I was kind of wondering this. The one... Was she in red or white armour that we fought? And it ju the, she just has the same air around her. And now I think they just dropped that bombshell as well. <laughs> so anyway... Though I was given little information at the time, I now suspect I was searching for the Kiwi but recently lost. And then I met Sir Emmerich. It was his usefulness to my mission which prompted me to approach him. But I soon found myself drawn to him for other reasons. Was the one he that... too was a prisoner of his past. Judged for his heritage as a bastard son of the Archbishop. Yet <laughs> unlike my sister and I, he did not curse his fate. He simply rose above it. Was she the one that... Did she fight Eda when we were in their whole compound? Like, she was against Eda and one of the other scions, maybe? Maybe Ashtola? It's been so long, I want, I want to look. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She had the weird blade arms that also acted as guns. Yeah, now I remember. And it's not just the crotch, it was part of the breastplate as well that was in red. But yeah, I get the joke. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. In time, I came to realise that I had found a man worth following. And a new home besides. And when I subsequently confessed all to Sir Emmerich, he was good enough to accept me into his service. I do not question your loyalty to Sir Emmerich. It is your loyalty to your sister which concerns me. I have long been of the opinion that those who dwell in the past risk losing sight of their future. My sister fought for her convictions and for those she held dear. So do I. So must we all. Well, I, for one, am happy to welcome a fellow Garlean to our merry band. Especially one who can make Magitek armor sing. <laughs> Chief, we should be getting close. Once we break through those clouds, we'll be right where the light was pointing. Right where Azizla should be. Hold on, everyone! To what? There's hardly any barriers to hold on to. <laughs> it's not very OSHA. <laughs> Look! I think that's it! Do you know any other floating platforms of death up here? Could it be anything else? Chief, is that... Alagon, aye. There's no mistaking their handiwork. This is obviously not the place. Let's go try somewhere else. What was that? Probably a defensive platform. Some and, sort of barrier. And you flew above the thing. She won't hold, Chief! She's breaking up! Can't uh, do it! We don't have I've the power! artillery propeller! <laughs> Sid, it's no use! 
We must return to Ishgard and find another way. God damn it all! Why do the Alagans always have to make everything so bloody complicated? It's called security and safety. Maybe you should look into it. Well, I'm glad they teleport me here. Ah, can we barely finish repairing the damage incurred during our sky fishing trip? On the other hand, any landing you can walk away from, as they say. I can only presume the Soleil passed through the barrier unscathed. That would certainly explain why the Vanu called it a key. You think? Assuming Sid is correct, and I have no reason to think that he is not, the Vanu's key is required to pass through the barrier protecting Aziz La. But even without it, we must find a way to reach the Isle. I shall have everyone convene at the seat of the Lord Commander, that we might discuss how best to proceed. As before, make yourself known to the Guardsman when you arrive, and he will show you in. I think one of my favourite things is how they have Biggs and Wedge. It's just... Everything works so damn well with each other. Uh, thank you. Gotta do things right. Uh, but first... We are going to Foundation. But we're not going over here. We're going over here. <laughs> so I can finally do this quest. For my machinist. For the machinistry marvel I have in mind, I shall have need of the clear lightning crystals found in the Sea of Clouds. Yeah, I mean these? Ah yes, these are wonderful specimens. These clouds shall allow me to broaden the capabilities of your Aether Transformer via a more efficient process of energy conversion. I only hope it will be impressive enough to convince our instructor to abandon his foolish course. Drill. Hell yeah! <laughs> Always looks so happy. Uh, drill. Hmm. With a delivers an attack with a potency of six hundred. Whereas this is. I don't know if it's 370 or 270. Because it could be either, but I'm guessing it's probably 270 total. Because that would be a rather big jump. Anyway, I probably need to edit the macros. Or, I'm not going to bother, and I'm going to have this next to my crit, so I can just crit with it. Well, 58. One of our machinists just returned to report on the situation with Rossenthal. It would seem that Joy and some, other, some few colleagues have caught up to him in the pillars. Pray make your way to the scene and persuade the instructor to stand down.
To the pillars. Whereabouts? Oh, okay. It's not quite what I want to see. <laughs> hey, douchebag. Should have known you'd be along. Now, Back off before I teach this student the meaning of point blank. I'm talking to you as well, Joy. Step aside. I bloody well will not step aside. Zera, take the fight out of him with a gauss round if you please. So that's how it's gonna be, eh? Come on then, we'll see who shoots first. Didn't even read any quest. <laughs> I just shot him. Bloody hells, that was fast. Your students ever strive to impress you, Rustenstall. And tis thanks to Zera's diligence that I was able to once more improve the tools of our trade. Even very Selen cannot stand against the advances we have made in both technique and technology. We must have faith that our machinists will prevail. I need to switch that back. There. And though I appreciate your eagerness to occupy a cell on my behalf, such a sacrifice will not halt Teddle Grinch's crusade against the manufactory. Aye, you might be right about that. He's right about more than just that. You've got to stop underestimating what we're capable of. <laughs> I keep forgetting what a stubborn lot I'm dealing with. You're the, you're the ones that are challenging the very stones what Ishgard was built on. Alright, I won't give myself up on one condition. All talker contracts aside, you let me help in the fight against this very cell and nightmare. You have always sought to avoid such entanglements before. What has changed? It's a matter of penance. Back when I was still in charge of the Kudas, okay, I lied to my subordinates. Instead of serving the Thalassocracy, I had them lads working to further my own agenda. It all came apart, though, when I sent a glut of them to, off to die in a battle they had no business being in. I had my eyes on the Admiral's chair, see, but what kind of Admiral would do that? It was reckless and selfish, and got a lot of good people killed. After they stripped me of my rank, I drowned myself in drink, and took up the life of the worst kind of pirate. That soldier I tried to visit in Camp Overlook, he was one of my lads what survived. I've been sending him every coin I could spare to pay back my bloody debt, but there ain't enough guilt in the world that could... what could buy off my guilt. And now, years later, I see a chance to undo the wrong I've done. A bunch of my students plan to charge into a situation they got no business being in, and I plan to see him come out of it alive. Well then, consider yourself invited to the battle. Come, lead us in a pre-battle drill, Rossenthal. Once more, your skill at firearms has rescued the manufactory from peril. Let us head back there, shall we? You're gonna make me walk there. Uh, Sky Skill Manufactory. I hate that it always points me that direction. It's fine if I'm doing crafting stuff, because it points towards the leave quests. Speaking of which, how many allowances? Ooh, I've got 97 allowances. I need to spend a bunch of those tonight. 
Ah, Zera, there you are. I have sent word of our decision to Teddlebridge. Even with the instructor's added firepower, however, I fear this challenge will test us to our very limits. Rosenthal has vowed to stay, stay with us, regardless of the term of his contract, until the sins of his past have been washed away in very Selen's blood. Let us then take advantage of every moment we have from now until the battle to hone our skills to a razor's edge. Next! Rise of the Machinists. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. And then we get an upgrade of that and Slug Shop Mastery. Oh, yeah. So that goes a little bit higher anyway. A day has been chosen for our trial against the very Selen. More than any that have come before, this battle shall be pivotal in deciding the future of the manufactory and machinistry both. Thus, ere we march forth to meet our fate, I would hold a celebration in honour of all that we have accomplished. As has become customary, however, the principal players are nowhere to be found. Pray head out into the city and seek out Joy, Rossesthal, Celesto and my father. Yay. This is far out. <laughs> I am invited to the manufactory. Well, well, how times have changed. Though I appreciate the gesture, I do not have a place in, at that table. I vowed to leave Skysteel matters to Stefan Nivian alone, and so I shall. Tell my son that I shall pray for victory and the prosperous future that will grow from his success. Okay. i got to hand it to him that he is sticking to his promise. Hi, Joy. I'm sure they won't mount me, mind me just running through the public fountain. I, I'll head there right now. But before we do, Zara, I wanted to thank you again for helping me find my way. I just got myself back to where I belong, and I ain't about to give up the workshop a second time. I'm going to this one first because I can teleport real quick from here. A feast, is it? I can already feel my belly rumbling. As always, the chief works to make the manufactory a place where commoners like me feel welcome. He's done his best for us, and I mean to do me best for him, even if it means fighting that monster of a dragon. Oh right, it's a dragon we're fighting, I forgot about that. <laughs> I was trying to remember what the very Selen was. Goddamn dragon, that's what. Where are you? It's amusing that two of them were by fountains. And two of them by cliffs, watching out. What, another bleeding celebration? Well, I guess we never did get to have the first that first one. Ah, Zeret, I knew the first time I met you, you'd be a demon with a carbine. And bugger me if I weren't right. Now look at us, ready to stand side by side against one of the biggest bloody dragoon, dragons dragoons to ever raid a supply train. I'll get everyone through this, though don't you worry. Oh, before I forget. 
Oh. Does this keep my die? No. I need to change that. It kept the die on this because that's the actual armor that I'm wearing. Well, it's a good job we're actually here. <laughs> we're the Warriors of Light. I always have to laugh when it comes to trials and raids and stuff for the storyline. Because <laughs> it's like, I am the chosen one, I am the warrior of light, and so are these other seven people. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> Die. Save. Yes. Much better. Oh, wait a minute. It also changed something else. It's a good job this die is very easy to make. Close, and then we save. And then we're back on the road again. <laughs> Warriors, come out and play! Warriors! I'm gonna say, isn't that... Uh, doesn't he have bottles on his fingers or something as well? Clink, clink, clink. And isn't it the actor that plays Grimmer Wormtongue in Lord of the Rings? If I remember correctly. I think. Oh Christ. You really got some fresh f I am phasing through the table. You really got some fresh food. This is very vibrant food. And then we look outside and it's all grey and snow and party. <laughs> thank you for summoning everyone to the feast and thank you for father's message. Eat, drink, and be merry, my friends. Soon we shall introduce very Selen to the rage of the machinists for the manufactory and for Ishgard. For Ishgard! See how their eyes shine with determination? You were the perfect choice to act as my ambassador. Ever has your presence been a boon to the manufactory? I often wonder what would have been of what would have become of us had you not chosen to walk the path of the machinist. Though our next battle together will indeed be perilous, it shall also serve to demonstrate the pinnacle of our ach achievements. When very sullen lies defeated in the snow, we will have accomplished a deed that Teddle Grinch and the Holy Sea believe nigh impossible. God, it's been so long since I've seen the crow. Billion Commander. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I lied. Drop. That's silly, if I remember. <laughs> When you are ready to make history, join us at the site of the trial in Curthus, Western Highlands. I'm going. Because I want that gear. It's level 60 gear. Like a full set. And I needs it. Give it to me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, I'll just teleport. Nope. 
Oh, way over there. Jesus, okay. Well, at least I can fly now. Enjoy it when people also know quotes from movies. <laughs> it comes up quite a lot when I'm at work on certain days. Because we have not a new starter, but a fairly new starter given how long I've been there. Um, <laughs> she's just amazed at how I connect all the films and actors and actresses. She's like, how do you do that? Autism, that's how. So nice being able to just fly. Also, this looks really ominous. Is it a tail? Is it a tentacle? Is it something else? Is it almost a hand? And we're here. <laughs> They're all here, Jesus. Who are you? Oh, you're the bad guys. Lord Tedelgrinch, my machinists are assembled. We now but await the arrival of the dreaded Very Selen. Excellent. I am accompanied by a priest of the Holy See who shall ensure that the trials, trial proceeds in accordance with Ishgardian law. A wagon has also been provided to tempt the talons of your quarry. That sounds amazing. Just watch free movies. The observatorium has been tracking the creature's movements. According to their calculations, Very Selen and its entourage should fly over this pass within the hour. Should the machinists of the Sky Steel Manufactory satisfy the conditions of this trial by combat, either through victory or valorous death, then shall your innocence be proven and your honour redeemed. Should you choose to flee, however, I trust I need not elaborate further. <laughs> this is kinda hilarious. The timing that I decided to do this quest. Should someone tell the Ishgardian priest that all of his leaders have left him? <laughs> All of them. We shall oversee proceedings from on high that I might judge thine actions evenly and with uninterrupted view. May justice be served. <laughs> your reverence, pray do not avert your eyes should the scene become one of bloody carnage. We would not wish to deny these fine combatants a fair trial. My strategy for the battle is thus. Hit these beasts with everything we have. Deploy every turret and shoot every bullet. We shall bury Very Selene under a hail of metal and fire. Has a short cooldown. Oh, that looks so good. <laughs> I am happy. I am pleased. Oh, 
I always want to get out of the way, but he's the good guy. Oh, hi. There's just too many of them. We're going to need help over here. Time to auto crossbow this. Will you stop AoEing, please? Thank you. Bloody hells, it's massive, and that's the thing we gotta kill. As Manufactory Chief, I have but one order for you all. Survive the battle. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and he dropped his weapon as well. Oh, that's amazing. You're the idiots that went up on high against wyverns. Machinists protect the fallen. Why do this? Why protect me? Should you but allow the dragons to do their bloody work, you will be free to pursue your agenda. Because we're machinists, dude. We don't let anyone die. I and few could argue that you had earned it, after the grief you have caused. I should take what is left of your corpse and string it up for target practice. And I should snooze this ad. But if my machinists are truly to be the spear and shield of Ishgard, we must defend all her citizens with equal zeal. I fear that excessive association with commoners has softened your brain. The oath you have sworn, however, is indeed a knightly one. If you're done yapping, Lord Teddle Grinch, we're a bit bloody busy here. Wag that tongue again and it'll be the first thing I put a bullet through. I love her, her gunner personality. You'd best heed her warning, old fellow. Joy is not one to give voice to idle threats. Until this day, I have but observed your battles from afar. What a perfect opportunity for me to evaluate your skills from a more intimate perspective. Slow down there, buddy. By the fury, is he still speaking? Leave him, Joy. We have more pressing matters to attend to. Let us shoot a path through the foes arrayed before us. Now you're speaking my language. That felt like an actual other Final Fantasy game set up. Just all four of us in a row. Okay. God damn it, I crit the wrong thing. 2000 damage? Nice. Uh oh. That's a lot of health. <laughs> kind of an unreasonable amount of health. <laughs> yeah. I do love how much drill does though. Okay, they've become desperate at using Aero Blast. Huh? 
Okay. Now we have crit available. 3825. It's just a little bit of an upgrade. Wait, what? I failed? <laughs> Wait, what? You said you guys would be okay. <laughs> Who died? Pedal Grinch has begun to fall. Oh, Do I have to take care of the ads first? Uh, I'm going to run that ad now and then do it again. Um, but I'm going to take a quick break to go to the toilet. So I'll be right back. Yeah, I think I need to go and help them. So Teddle Grinch just gave up. So I think I, even though he says for me to engage very soon, I'm going to go and help him. Okay, let's do this again. No. Doing it on normal. Don't take pity on me, goddamn you game. I'm gonna skip all the cutscenes though. Except for part of a cutscene. <laughs> Crit drill does so much damage.
Ah, they're all targeting me this time. Okay. I said I'm going to skip the cutscene. Except for one part. I'm going to skip these. I just want to see that again. <laughs> oh, your sword's not there anymore. Okay. We take Teddle Grinch and defeat the Grit Dragons. Because they got overwhelmed very easily. Look at the damage they're taking just from these. But the problem is... Will they come and help? Or are they just still... Oh, they are coming to help. Awesome. I wasn't sure Stephanivian would survive it. Rossenthal is doing it. Oh, this is probably why. Because these idiots just won't move. Over here, dumbasses. Rossenthal is fine. I wanted to actually help them during the first go at this, but Stephanivian said, no, 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 we'll be fine. Attacking. Oh, maybe I should lock that. <laughs> Finish off with the drill. There we go. Just I chose not to help the nobles before. <laughs> We've done it! The damnable beast is dead! I love how her hair just rebraids. <laughs> it's so funny. I thank you for saving my life. The accusations against you shall, of course, be withdrawn. As a further token of my gratitude, I would offer you a boon. Speak your wish and I shall do all within my powers to grant it. A boon? You think one little favour will wipe the ledger cleaner, you steaming shite? Fortunately, my heart has but one desire. 
I will have your oath that henceforth you shall no longer oppose the rise of the machinists and never again seek to interfere in the operation of the Sky Steel Manufactory. Is that all? No chests of coin? No promises of power? The workings of your mind are truly an enigma to me. But you shall have my word on this, nevertheless. Indeed, we shall discover the best means by which your fine machinists might contribute to Ishgard's defences. It is only from behind a sturdy front line that a machinist's full potential is realised. Together with your knights, however, we will change the face of war. <laughs> of course, you cannot yet do without the masters of the battlefield. May we strike fear into the hearts of our enemies and ensure the continued prosperity of the Holy See. Fare you well, Lord Stephanivian. They just walk towards the dangerous side, right? Of this gully? <laughs> well, that's that then. Thanks for letting me join you on this one, boss. I think I'm ready to move on now. Joy, your aim is as sharp as your RP tongue. Good work, lass. I nominate ye to take over as Master of Marksmanship. Zera, you're too bleeding quiet, but your weapon speaks loud enough, I suppose. Keep firing like you do, and I reckon new students will flock to the workshop to follow in your footsteps. I love that. <laughs> Too quiet. Yes. I just nod. Are you truly leaving us? I've never been the kind of bloke as sticks in one place for too long, but you've treated me well at the workshop. Better than I deserve, I reckon, but it's time I weighed anchor. I'll be seeing you then. Should your travels bring you back to Ishgard, know you always have a place at the manufactory, my friend. Shall we be on our way as well? Teleport, favorites, foundation for free. Yeah, they walked towards that way. <laughs> Which goes this. They walked this direction. <laughs> okay. Not going to question it. Give me gear. I want the loots. You may not have wanted a reward. Also, I felt it fitting that Sid be there for this. Because it's a manufactory thing. I am going to change Wind Up Sid, though. I'm going to go back to my favourite. What an extraordinary... What's... Yeah. Words are hard. What an extraordinary turn of events. With these troubles behind us, however, I feel the age of machinistry has finally arrived. And you, Zera, have all but outgrown the manufactory. With Rosenthal's departure, there are none who might compete with your skill at firearms. Pray take the lessons you have learned and make known the machinist's trade in every corner of Orzia. You are, of course, welcome to return to us whenever you desire. We shall be here, ever serving Ishgard as her deadly spear and sturdy shield. Ah, before I forget, Rosenthal asked that I encourage you to push the limits of your marksmanship. I believe his exact, wor exa eh. his exact words were, so that you can blast through any pile of shite that what might stand in your way. I'm getting better at the accent, don't you think? <laughs> Mm. Mm. 
Hell yeah! <laughs> Heated slug shot. Ooh. This concludes the Machinist quest for Final Fantasy XIV Heaven's Ward. In order to undertake the next series of quests, you must first meet the following requirements. You must have completed the main scenario quest, The Far Edge of Fate. Once you have done so, the next Machinist quest will be available from Stephanivian. Don't think I've done that one yet. I'm a machinist, not a man. Ooh, liberate. Ooh, I like that one. Uh, profile. <laughs> Imperial nuisance. Kind of like that one. I'm a grandmaster of the land? Okay. I like being a liberator though. <laughs> so. Machinist armor coffer, item level 210. A banded chest containing a complete set of machinist's armor. Oh, is it all Stephanivian stuff? Do I even have room for all? Oh, God damn it. Uh, that was gloves. Salt. I need that, I need that. I might, I might just sell a bunch of stuff. Do I need you? No, because I have the wristbands. I have all my gathering stuff. Legs. Boots. Body, I think, has also hit the limit. And then I'll have to do glamour plates again, unless I like the look. I don't like the look. I want my hat back. I, the thing that I do like though is the fact that it has all the stuff you need on the, the cloak. But I don't like it. Yeah, I had a feeling it was probably the very end of it. So that's all that. Update gear set. And then we're going right back. Actually, what does it look like died? Can I die it? Can I die it? You only changed that. I don't know why I'm running there. But I might as well continue now. We've got to have the right look for the cutscenes. It just wouldn't be right. <laughs> um, Lamb dresser. Edit glamour plate. Show all equipped gear. No. Which means I now need to body piece. It was the oral tabard, but I brand new tabard is what I had on in the gear. Do I have you in here? I added a bunch of stuff just to this. Brand new tabard. Was it brand new? Brand new tabard. So it's you. But you're not diable, I think.
you. It was that die. Save. Yes, I like this look. I do need to clear out my inventory of crap, though. Like, oh my god, I need to clear out my inventory of crap. But the good thing is, being able to craft glamour prisms will save so much space. Although I will be turning all of these in. In fact, because it's going to be free to teleport back. Let's quickly go back here to Gridania. All the way over here. I still also need to go and do the Aurum Veil at some point to be able to get to the next rank. Pending healing may mean scouting healing stuff. I'm not too bothered about doing this. Because if I need a certain level of stuff for when I level up other jobs, I'll just craft it. Oh good. It's like <laughs> hide armory chest stuff, yes please. Nice amount of seals. What do I need to do for these anyway? Beach log, don't we have these? No. No, I've gathered them, I think. I've been close to. No, and <laughs> I haven't. I think it might have been birch. Don't have that either. Might go and do this real quick. Because it shouldn't take too long. Sweet and sour frog's legs. Yeah, no. <laughs> It's item level 276. I definitely won't be able to gather the ingredients for that unless I bought them. And I'm not too bothered about getting 3,000 seals right now. But that's a hell of a lot of XP. I need 10 of them. Raw Carnelian. It's kind of close. No, let's just sort the inventory. Oh, I never used that. Oh, it's mining. Thing is, this is so easy to do unless it's a hidden one. Raw Carnelian. Ooh, rainbow pigment. Oh, you're a collectible, never mind. Uh, so we do this. And I have a 100% chance of gathering it. I need 10 of them. And that's 12. <laughs> what I am going to do, though, is. Just so I've actually gathered them. Because gathering them like the first time gives a decent chunk of XP. Turn you off. I got nothing. Oh, 64%. There we go. Does this only have two remaining? It does only have two remaining. Well, in that case... None of G oh. 
It's gone. Yeah. Okay. Bye -bye. Oh. <laughs> like this. This bottle holds a Time One map classified as risk reward grade eight among treasure hunters. <laughs> Level sixty full party eight players recommended. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yeah, let's go for it again. This is my gathering rating. 449. It's lower than my perception right now. I really need to do the quest to get better weapon or primary tool. Because these are item level 130. I to level 55. I'm a bit behind. In fact, I might go and do that now because I know I have the stuff. I think. Let's collect it. I need to go to Uldar. Because I already mined the stuff. I'm fairly sure, if I remember correctly. So let's just do this very, very quickly. And as I said, I doubt many streamers actually do this part of the game on stream. Because I imagine people find it boring. But for those that actually do mining and crafting, that appreciate it, why not? <laughs> Zera, gods, it feels like an age since we last spoke. Tell me, how are you enjoying prospecting up north? Up north, lass? Yeah, up north. <laughs> you must have a tail or two. More titanium as this? Oh. Uh, why, why does no one ever just come to visit with me? All work and no play for the guildmaster. Let me take a look at Edelberta. There's something about this here sample. Work, work, work. Is that all you can think of? Gods, the two of you. Fine, take it. Zera, you're in need of a location to mine more of these, yes? The thing is, I've seen this same ore before. It was back when I was little more in a cub. Someone brought it a father for appraisal, a hunter who found it while working in the Dravanian forelands. Father had never seen its like before, but he recognised it as titanium. I tell you, this sample is the spitting image of that one. I am glad you are looking so closely, Wide Gully. I remember now, Deep Canyon did tell me of that ore and said it was extremely pure, and if the hunter found it in the Dravanian forelands, the reserve may well be there. That said, titanium is rare, and the hunter may have just found it by chance. But go and see what you can dig up. If you do find a vein, maybe that'll se help settle me debt to you. Or my debt to you. Let me guess, 10 titanium? Maybe? Uh... Okay, I've got to just go back to Ishgard uh, and turn it back in. And then he's probably going to tell me to go, go and collect ten of them. Which, spoiler, I have uh, 51. <laughs>
Wait. I was sure he was in here. Yeah. It's just... He wasn't showing on the map. Professor, have you found out anything? Oh yeah, they call me the Professor. In the Dravanian Forelands, eh? Hmm. Then the deposits like to be in the Chocobo Forest. Hunters don't leave the area for fear, fear of dragons. Of course, two chunks of titanium don't mean a proper load, but it's a good lead and I'm willing to bet on it. Ha! Tis time to summon the lads. We'll send you in the Chocobo Forest, Professor. Fine. Let me just... That. There we go. In the Chocobo Forest. Thing is, they're gonna ask me to go out there, do this massive area that I need to mine from. Tell me to return a certain amount, and I'm gonna be like, here they are. I could have given you it in town, saved you a journey, potential death. Boom. There they are. Good, that's the lot of us raiders. The lads have all got their orders, so let's get to it. Captain, I don't understand. Why ain't you having the raiders what know the lay of the land guard our flank? Why? Why? It's a good question, actually. Muscles, you take the perimeter. All right, Professor. You know the drill. If you can find ten samples of titanium hereabouts, that'll be proof enough of a good load of ore neath those these, neath these trees. Actually, hang back with me. I'll need a runner if I need to change my orders. Now, lads, move out. Yo, dude. Have you found ten chunks of ore? Can you find them? You didn't need to send them out there. Ha! You've rightly earned your pay today, Professor. This all proves there's a load of titanium here worth mining. And the lads have come through with little more than a scratch on them. I'll have my head held high when I tell the Count. Slow down, Captain. Muscles ain't come back yet. Said he was going to clear the road home and went off on his lonesome. I've given Muscles leave to do his he sees fit. The man's never been beat by monsters or men, and his service record's spotless. He can handle he can handle himself just fine. Why do you keep me on a bloody leash then? I've never been beaten by monsters neither. Aye, and if that holds true for ten name days, I'll think on it. But if I let you off the leash now, you're like to get killed. You're just too young, Hatchlin. Says you, Captain. The monsters are no more. They will not come again for a time. That's a good man, Muscles. Now, let's get back to Ishgard. <laughs> I'm glad I have Ishgard set as my free teleport. <laughs> Ethernet. Go back to the Forgotten Night. I'm fairly sure it was the brawny knight in that cutscene that we had. As he mentioned about making an inn over here. House for Tomps was right pleased with what we did today, and that thanks is owed to you. My raiders are running like a proper army these days. Everyone understands their place and does their duty. I even Hatchlin. The lad's got a bright future. If I can buff the edges off of him. 
the young, a bunch of cocky asses. I've seen more than a few lose their lives over stupid, stupid quarrels of honour. Uh, <laughs> not wor not worth worrying over the dead, is it? Any road, Professor. There'll be new work coming. Till then, just keep on mining. Oh, look of the mountaineer. Look of the oh, okay. You just. Oh, you can forcibly do it. Ooh. Uh, item level 100. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'll just take the money. Although I should have looked at how it looked. In breaking new grounds as a miner, you've learned look of the mountaineer. Oh look, a titanium pickaxe. We've got new marching orders, Professor. This time we're to explore some uncharted land and see if there's anything of mineral value beneath it. Problem is, this land's in the Dravanian hinterlands, just beyond the Horde, and they're not overly fond of us, in case you forgot. Now you may be wondering how we landed this job. Some don't take kindly to House for Thompson's success. Successes. Our successors. These people are demanding ridiculous things now, and the Count has called on us to deliver. But it's not all bleak news. Word is that there's a little settlement of venturers sprung up in the hinterlands. The lads and I will go on ahead and see if they've let us set up camp there. We'll meet in the Makers' quarter. Ought to be safe enough there. Just come when you're ready. That one night talked to going by airship, but I told him none of us need the codling. But be careful of the dragons all the same. So this is a thing that I can't do. Because I don't have access to here. So I'm fairly sure it was iced up because I, I checked. <laughs> or just blocked off. And I'm fairly sure I need to do all of the questing, the main story quest. So, luckily, we're right here. <laughs> but I'm in the wrong gear. Well, I'm in the wrong look. Now I'm in the right gear. Getting up to the 700s now. Nice! Please be voice acted. If so, I'm going to get a packet of crisps. <laughs> fact that it didn't start as a cutscene. Oh, please. 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 In summary, the Isle owes its lofty position to the industry of the Alagans. And we can be all but certain that the Archbishop and his cronies are enjoying the view from its top. I see. If we are to join them, we will first need to pass through the Isle's etheric barrier, which is, alas, more powerful than most. Powerful enough to make a mess of a perfectly good airship at any rate. As far as I can gather, the barrier mechanism draws ether from the surrounding environment and polarizes its elemental aspect to produce what is, in effect, a wall of lightning. It seems plain that without the Vanu's key, any attempt to reach the Isle will end in failure. Alas, the key was careless enough to leave without us, and I don't think the Vanu keep a spare. Master Garland, based on your experience, is there no other way that we might breach the barrier? Well, in the past, we've beaten similar barriers by nullifying them with elemental converters. But the one we're up against this time dwarfs aught we've encountered before. The Enterprise simply isn't large enough to bear the requisite amount of crystals. I am reminded of the quantity needed to nullify Leviathan's command of the sea. 
A veritable mountain of crystals that could only be born by lashing two galleons together to form a twin vessel, scarcely able to propel itself, much less fly. That said, we're not without options. If it isn't feasible to nullify the barrier, we might try piercing it. How? We create a ram of condensed ether and mount it on my ship. There's just one problem. I don't have the faintest idea how to build one. It's going to take a true authority in the field, I reckon. Trial? Would that the Archons were still with us. But yesterday evening, I chanced to find Mistress Tataru in unusually high spirits. Assuming I understood her excited ramblings correctly, she has acquired a clue, pointing to the whereabouts of one such individual. An Archon? Truly? Ha! Fortune favors the righteous, eh? Well then, let's not waste any time. While you go and look for our missing friend, I'll work on modifying the Enterprise. Her hull will need reinforcing to bear the punishment, not to mention a mount for the ramp. Just you wait, my pretty. By the time I'm finished, you'll be an airship reborn. I love the joke in itself. So let's go and talk to the best member of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Oh. Speaking of which, I wanted to change my minion. Now, by all rights, if I was just taking Final Fantasy XIV, best minion. If I was taking best character of a wind-up version, has to be Shantoto. She's just amazing. She's also appeared in more than just Final Fantasy XI. Like, was it, I think, the Dissidia line of games or something? She has, she appears as a character in one of that that's got a bunch of cutscenes, depending on what character you play as. I've never played it, I've only seen the cutscenes. And she just rips the crap out of everybody, just talking down to them, because she's kind of like a boss at one point. <laughs> Even to, like, because I think you could play as Sephiroth, even when he shows up, she's like, oh, finally a, fa a good fight, maybe. <laughs> it's just like, the amount of sass that she has is amazing. Welcome back, Zera. How goes the mission? Did you manage to catch up with the Archbishop and his cronies? Well, you see, no. So you finally arrived at Azizla, only to find your way barred by some sort of barrier. Typical. But it's not all bad news. I've made progress in the search for our friends. Don't worry, Zara. We'll get to Azizla yet. Now, <laughs> when they were mentioning... Um experts in Aether. I can't remember if she's actually been introduced yet, but I know from other playthroughs of people, Kryal springs to mind, but maybe Ishtola to a certain degree? Although it could be Ida and, um, oh, I can't remember the other Lalafell's name. <laughs> it's been a while. When you fled the Victory Feast, you used the ancient water course beneath the city, right? Well, shortly after things went back to normal in Uldar, I asked Marshal Tarupin to have the tunnels searched. A logical place to look. It was there that you lost contact with Binfilia, Thancred, and Yashtola, was it not? Dare I ask what the Marshal found? Um, 
I don't actually know. Pippin's message just said that there has been a discovery and that we were to come to the Hall of Flames at our earliest convenience. I dare not think what it might be. We shall depart at once. Tataru, let Arianje know to join us in Uldar. He will wish to be present as well. Oh, that sounds so adorable, FLC. It's a white baby chick that wears a giant straw hat. Oh, that sounds amazing. Yes, sir. She's adorable. You're ruining the vibe. <laughs> uh... In the market. Let's, you know what? Sure, let's go and have a look. Uh, the pillars. I'm just going to search for Snowflake. Oh, I've got caps on. Uh, maybe that won't work. <laughs> Oh, that <laughs> just from how it looks. How much is it? Ah, uh, quite a lot, yeah. <laughs> I could afford it. I'm not going to. I should probably look at minions. Uh, there. Wind up Dullahan. She just hops around all. <laughs> Demon Brick. <laughs> what? You're all better off not knowing what arcane magics animate this ordinary stone block. I have to just buy that. Oh, Tombury. Yeah, I thought it'd be mildly expensive. Kick him. A ferret? Oh, ferret. Okay. Uh, get a tapir. They're all so expensive. Wait, the fat cat's actually on. I've got her. I just have to. I can't resist the fat cat. So cute. Mummy's little mummy. Wait, assassin fry, that's the better fish. Or beta fish. An ugly duck. Oh, galley kitten. I want one. Because they're adorable. <gasps> that's a panda. I'm getting the lesser panda. FLC, you have made me make mistakes. <laughs> I hope you're happy. I'm guessing that just means they're favorites by people. Are you a... Some of these, it wouldn't surprise me if I can... Oh, there's a Fenrir pup. 
Oh, I've got to get a Fenrir. Sorry. <laughs> a dwarf rabbit. Odder Otter. Gotta get the otters. I mean, I'm sub to FG, so I've gotta get an otter. You can get a brachiosaur. <laughs> what was it? Uh white ferret the witrept is it double t maybe that's not searchable i would like ferret oh oh well uh, i have a bunch of things to use oh and this to place an armory. Let me just fix my miner. So I go 449474 to almost 500. Why can't I take this too and give it to that? White White Rit is its full name. Or White Wit Rit. Gotta have the ferret, gotta live up to John Kimball's standards. <laughs> Do one. I wanted this one for a while. I never actually checked for the marketplace for minions. It's just, it's not a problem. Why don't you have eight? God, FLC. <laughs> Sounds like you need a lot more. I have less than one page. Okay. That is so cute. So now we need to wait for it. Because you said it climbs up on your head or does it go on your shoulder? If it goes on the head, that's going to be funny. I will wait until it does it. Come on. I will wait for this. Come on, hurry up, get tired, because I think that's the only reason that Midgard Summer do. <laughs> I could run the ads. But then I would rob other people.
I also kind of have to use not my machinist because of the hat. Come on. Get that look at that. He's so cute. So cute. Or do I have to run around for you to get tired? Getting closer. I do enjoy the music as well here. It's on my shoulder. So maybe it's just different races. What race are you, FLC, in this? I imagine if you're a Lalafell, it might go to the head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it just perches on the shoulder. This is so cute, though. Uh, Chloe, no, but I have read on the wiki part to it. Are they the one that has, like, how best to describe, like, adventure cards or something that you do with them? I'm so interested in what this... <laughs> like, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah, the adventure book. Because I've collected... Uh, where are they? I think they're in saddlebags, actually. I collected these, the ice stalagmites. And I couldn't turn them in as collectibles. And then it said, accepted by a certain other person. They're in Idleshire, aren't they, right? Which I don't have access to yet. Oh, you're actually quite cool looking. And I love the way that you hop around. It's so cute. The fact that it spawns laid down. Does the fat cat move? Because I'm beginning to think no. <laughs> Just blah. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at, look at it, look at it, look at it, look at it. Blah. <laughs> like sploot. Okay. Uh... I do like red pandas. And I know this one also goes onto the shoulder. It's bun bun. So cute. Fluffy. Look at those ears. Look at them. <laughs> uh, the otter. I've seen this one around before. I love the fact that he's holding holding a lantern. Bomboko. Okay. 
This one should be flying. So cute. I love the fact that it flaps its arms as well. Is it? Are they actually its wings or is it clothing? Because it might be clothing. <laughs> Which case, that's awesome. Us. It's a shame that there aren't like multiple. This reminds me of my Pathfinder playthrough. <laughs> Um, Wrath of the Righteous. Have I actually summoned you yet? I got this from, I think, a dungeon. I think I'm gonna run with for now. I was going to go with Shantoto. That's dirt cheap, so... Nutkin is a sugar glider squirrel that pushes an acorn around. I did see Nutkin before. God. Oh, looking at the icon, that is cute. But I'm not going to spend that much on it. Not yet. It's more like a raccoon, kinda. In in the uh, markings, it's not actually a raccoon. I'm gonna go with the red panda. Okay, what were we doing again? All oh, right, I should probably run an ad while I'm. <laughs> close to it and then run up there um i'm on my minor which i can't get to the thing for that so let's switch back to this and we were going oh all that <laughs> So I'll run the ad while i'm running out there now that i've looked at a bunch of minions that i now have I honestly should look at mounts as well. Oh, it's very, very close. However, I also definitely need to do, oh, I need to do that one. I'm fairly sure. I think that's the Hildebrand one. But I do need to do a lot of the other quests that are unlock stuff. What I want to have a look at now is I do enjoy my cloud. But are there. There's minions, but. What are you? Oh, the barding. Are there mounts? Can you buy mounts or do you have to get them elsewhere? I'm beginning to think there aren't. This suppose makes sense. Only minions, by the looks of it. Oh, 
Or maybe? Oh no, there are mounts that's just... It was the barding instead. chair how much do they cost 28 grand no thank you magic to bed 2.6 million <laughs> no don't want to ride a damo Construct 14, oh god. Yeah, these are all kind of expensive. I think some of these are just on there just to be on there. You use the Lana. It's a giant flaming boob. Lana. I'm guessing it has probably a longer name. <laughs> or it's not that old fashioned much. Yeah, <laughs> I'm guessing most of them are just actual collectibles. Anyway, let's go back. This is where we need to go. I'm going to say the flaming burb, it's not like that blue and red one that I see most people around on. That doesn't strike me as like an actual burb. Them Lala fellas, I keep missing them. Even though Rian J was there. Voice acting. We are grateful for your assistance, Master Terrible. You saved her grace and father both. It is the least I can do to repay you. Well, give me my impatience, Marshal, but your missive mentioned a discovery. I love her travelling clothes. Yes, of course. As per your request, I had my men scour the waterways. Almost immediately, we encountered a difficulty. An entire section of the tunnel had collapsed. With the, min with the Mineral Concerns Corporation, however, we were able to remove the rubble, which yielded the battered bodies of a dozen crystal braves. Go on. Be at ease, Master Alfino. Your friends were not among the deceased. That alone is cause for hope. And then there is this. Yishtola's wand! I had assumed as much. If I may, Marshal. <laughs> Night vision activated in the middle of the day. Oh, I'm blind. <laughs> Tis as I did surmise. Judging by the etheric imprint that lingereth yet upon this wand, it hath assuredly been employed in the casting of a most uncommon magic. Namely... The very first that man did conceive to traverse great distances, 
and the ancient precursor to all methods of travel that utilize the live stream. Flow. The spell entaileth the reduction of the corporeal form into its constituent aether, that the caster might enter the live stream and ride its currents thereby. Unlike the teleportation magics of modern times, it requireth not a lengthy incantation that Yastola should choose to employ such a spell, bespeaketh the need for haste. All of which would suggest she managed to escape. Would that it were so simple, know that the scholars of Charlian forbade the use of this spell, and with good reason. The caster hath but limited control over his course, for every mage who came safe unto his destination, another would be set adrift in the live stream, never to emerge. Oh great. What? No! No, you can't mean... Be not downcast, my friends, for there is yet hope. Tis like the Yashtola's passage hath left traces in the live stream. Could we but follow these from the point at which the magic was invoked, we may yet find her. To the Sildi excavation site, then. Our thanks for your aid, Marshal. Do not mention it. I shall pray for Lady Yashtola's safe return. <laughs> And then let's just completely forget that Thancred and Minfilia were also in the conversation at the very start. Uh, where am I going? Oh, okay. No, I did not join a fate. You can't make me. I have to choose to level C. <laughs> hey, Yurianje! <laughs> Evidence of Ishtola's passage will have been made faint by time, but mayhap some few scant traces yet remain to guide our steps. A rock. The trail leadeth to the north and east, unto the bosom of the Twelves Wood. Are you certain? Aye, there is no mistake. Thither hath Yashtola journeyed. And yet the Gridanians have reported no sightings. We must take this to mean she's still adrift. If it be so, I do fear for our friend. Contrary to its name, the live stream is more akin to a raging torrent. Linger over long in the midst of this maelstrom, and the aether from that and the aether that formeth one's soul shall surely be scattered, near to be reformed. We have no time to waste. Uriange, pray explore all possible options for reversing the effects of this forbidden magic. Zera, Tataru, we three shall press on to Gridania and petition the Elder Seed Seer's aid. The thing that I think 
I like the most about the storyline is sure it gives you a bunch of stuff to do but it also makes sense like we're currently waiting for Sid to do something and he's preparing but he doesn't know how to do something and granted that we oh good aren't you granted that we need someone in who's an expert in Aether it doesn't matter that we just found your stroller it's just something to do while that airship needs refitting like it all makes perfect sense <laughs> just good pacing as if to be like yep it's done <laughs> it is said that the elementals perceived the life stream if as we suspect Yashtola is still adrift in its midst they may be able to find her but if we are to appeal to them for assistance we must need to do so through their chosen the Pajal it is imperative therefore that we speak with Kan Asena without delay Yeah, but I just like that it paces it, that it just branches off and does come back while you have to technically wait for the other characters to finish what they're doing as well. It's just not a question of Oh, you need to do this? It'll take me weeks to do it. You immediately go and get the thing that they want and teleport back within an hour. Oh yes, we finished. No. <laughs> it actually feels like you're doing something else while they work. I have already requested an audience with the Elder Seeds here. She will receive us in the Lotus Stand presently. We need but speak with the Conjurer yonder to be admitted. You're not silent. The Elder Seed Seer awaits. Pray follow me. I always walk over here rather than just walking through the water. I don't know why. I think it's just manners. Be welcome, my friends, and speak freely. I gather your suit will admit no delay. It will not, my lady. Pray forgive the abrupt nature of our request, but it is a matter of life and death. I see... As you say, we must needs act swiftly if we are to free Ashtola from the uh, gentle pull of the life, ungentle pull of the life stream. And as you have surmised, we cannot do this unaided. However, God damn it! What do we need to do now? In requesting the Elemental's assistance to find your Stola, you must needs be aware of one difficulty. A difficulty born of the fundamental difference between man and Elemental. That being... In perceiving the world around him, man relies upon senses such as sight and sound. For the sake of convenience, he gives names to such things as are near or dear to him. Being formed of pure ether, however, such concepts are foreign to the elementals. Instead, they perceive by observing the ebb and flow of the energies of life. 
So profound a division cannot be bridged with simple discourse. The elementals' voices stir not the air, and thus reach not our ears, while our words are but wind to them. Though we seers can commune with them through feelings, naught that we can impart will serve to aid them in identifying Yshtola. Nay, they must needs be presented with ether which is akin to hers. If you could but find a family member, Just the person! Yastola has a sister who came to live in Gradania. She told me about her once. Oh, that is most fortunate indeed. Pray, seek this sister out then and bring her to Evershade. There, we shall petition the Great One's aid in finding your lost companion. Itaru saving the day again. If memory serves, Yashola's sister is named Yamitra. She's supposed to be a member of the Sons of, the S of Saint Koinak. Anyway, she spends most of her time around Apkalu Falls, from what I recall. Let's look there for her. I love how peaceful this place is. I'm glad I chose Gridania as my starting location. The other one I may have chosen was Limsala Minsa. Old is just too boring. <laughs> oh yeah. I get from this. <laughs> Fat chocobo head. Ooh. Not gonna get it because I like my hat. I imagine you could go very like Native American with that kind of. Get a cursor as a minion. Wind up Odin. <laughs> Cues on Tetsuken them. <laughs> Gilgamesh. Nanamo. Don't know who you are. Part lion, part dog, all lion dog. Okay. Personal Iron Man. Okay. Oh, there's a mount, I'm guessing. Again, also probably you as well, because then it's the barding and the armor. More barding. And a death claw. Oh, I know what that is. Uh, 
Okay. I'm not going to buy anything even though I got 31. I was just interested. Wait. Oh no, you're the sightseer, I think, right? Baby's voice actor, probably not with a side character like her, maybe. Oh, damn it. Yes, is there something you require? Lady Mitra, it is an honour to meet you. My name is Alphino Lavelia, and this is Tataru Taru. So you are my sister's comrades in the Science of the Seventh Dawn. You're damn right we are. When I heard that you, your people were being pursued, I desperately sought to reach Stola. But all mine efforts were to no avail. Now I know why. Forbidden spell of all things. That, should, that she should be so reckless. But what's done is done. I thank you for bringing word to me. Needless to say, I should be glad to help. Though we were born of different mothers, our veins course with the same father's blood. I hope that this will be enough for the elementals. Come, let us make forever shade. Or shard, probably. At once. Let us begin. Yay! Raya O, Arun, if you would. Hearken to me, O oh Great Ones. Pray, give yourselves to the life stream, a drifting soul to find. Please, you stole Please come back to us. There. Now. Oh, shiny and sparkly. And naked.
A room has been readied at the roost. Pray, bear her thither at once. I can say Tatara will definitely follow. All that remains is to pray, my friends. I have but one question. How do you see? Do you like walk into every single trap? Oh, they brought us back here. <laughs> Use <Uses> the force. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tataru. Oh, it's Tola. Just seeing her face again, it's. Oh, I've been so worried. Hell yeah, I'm level 61. Thank you, Tataru. Ishtola is resting within an iron within an iron room in room. Though she's still unconscious, the signs are positive. The conjurers say she is in sound health and should awaken before long. Isn't that wonderful? Now, while we wait for Ishtola to wake up, I thought I'd take the opportunity to finish my little surprise for her. Is she getting new clothes? You didn't have to make her naked for it, though, also. Look at him! Or her. So cute. Something I've been working on for a while now in the hopes that she'd one day return to us. It wants for just a couple more items before it's ready. I've already placed orders for these items. Could I ask you to retrieve them for me? One is with the Leather Workers Guild and another is with the Conjurers Guild. Speak to Mistress Jeeva and Brothers Isumi Yan and they ought to take care of you. Well, Jeeva already knows who I am. Because 53 leather work. <laughs> it's actually kind of quicker not to teleport there. Because it's just up here. And then straight ahead. There is a teleport there. And I just found. Running there is really quick with Sprint and Peloton. Well, if it isn't Zera, looking for some hides to tan, mayhap. Hmm? Here to retrieve an order for Mistress Tataru, you say? I wonder if that first line isn't there if you're not a leather worker. Oh, backpacks could be fun. <laughs> thing is if you had backpacks vis visibly on you as well it's the perfect place for a cat to fall asleep on the top of it just behind your neck it's also the perfect place for them to assassinate you when they're not sleeping you come at a good time I finished it but moments ago it was no small coop working it to her specifications, but I did it nonetheless. Payment has already been settled. Good. However, did that girl come by chimerical hide anyway? However, did that girl come by chimerical hide anyway? You need either balls of steel or a bottomless coin purse, and it seemed to me she had neither. It's Tataru. She probably just asked.
Well, yeah, hoodies also work. And there is a hoodie in game. <laughs> I bought it for Twiggy. Because <laughs> mm, I kind of want to buy it for myself now. <laughs> the fat cat hoodie. Uh, oh, wait. Conjurer's Guild is also in that zone. Classic white mage hoodie too. Yeah, that too. Nope. <laughs> it spawned me in a fence. <laughs> Are you come to Stillglade f fame, the home of the Conjurer's Guild? How may I assist you? Oh, you are come. How are you? <laughs> God. I need to read properly. Ah, yes. Mistress Tataru's order. As requested, it has been sanctified in the sight of the elementals. I know not what she intends for the staff, but it is a most singular artifact. Even one possessed of my experience would struggle to wield it. Yeah, well, we have a Yashtola. One night in Amda... Okay, I think we really need to do all these level 50 things. Because I see them all over the place. I'm just like, I need to do that. FLC, why? Why? Uh, although I did a pun <laughs> the other day that Punt didn't appreciate, which made him even more hilarious. Hey Tataru, got the stuff. Ah, you're back. You have the items, I hope. Damn right I do. What other items do I have? Oh. <laughs> I needed to do that before. Okay. And then that's, yeah, treasure map. And that's, I need to go to Idleshaw Shire, I think. I would like to get to, god damn it. It's precisely as I requested, a perfect match for the other pieces. Truly, Jiva is a master among masters. And the staff completes the surprise. Thank you so much, Zera. I can't wait to see what Yashitola thinks of the surprise. Lest you wonder, she's doing very well and the Conjurers have left her in her sister's care. Let's go and pay them a visit, shall we? Yes, please. We need to get the band back together. Hey, this is my room. Tataru. <laughs> you are safe. Thank the Twelve. Something has changed about you, Alpha No. Or mayhap the change is with me. I seem to sense the ether around me more keenly than before. Barely sure her eyes have changed. I am pleased to see you well again. Do you feel strong enough to talk? I... 
Worry not. I am well enough. Tell us then, what befell you after you fled the feast? We were told that there had been a tunnel collapse. That was my doing. I brought the tunnel down that you and Minfidia might escape. You just want to check something. Yeah, I want to say that her eyes have changed, which is why she can see the ether now. Because I knew it was a thing, and now I think I know why. So, anyway... At the last moment, I invoked a teleportation magic, in hopes of spiriting Thancred away at least. Needless to say, it did not go quite as planned, and I found myself adrift in the life stream. The others? Where are they? Did they not escape? They remain unaccounted for. You were the only one we have been able to find. I am truly sorry. It was the Crystal Braves who pursued you that day. My hubris that led to our undoing. No apologies are necessary, Alpha No. You are not to blame for what occurred. Know that were our comrades here, they would commend you for keeping the light of hope alive. Don't, don't worry. The others are alive and well, I'm sure of it. We just need to find them. Indeed, Tataru. Let us find our friends and rebuild the Scions. Ha! There is the Alphano I remember. And I feel much the better for his return. Tis time I arose. <gasps> that reminds me! I have a change of clothes for you! I don't like to boast, but I made them myself. I learned how to weave while we're in Ishgard, you see? She had time to kill, so she learned weaving. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he realized. Right, you need to go. But he also might remember his change of clothes <laughs> and how that went. Ooh, she looks good. Tataru has apprised me of all that took place in the aftermath of the assassination plot. It would seem I have been away for some while. Yes, much and more happened during your absence. At present, we seek to follow the Archbishop to Azisla. And you want for some manner of etheric ram to pierce the floating isle's protective barrier? We do. Might you be able to furnish us with one? Love her outfit just in all black. A means to prise open a hole in an Alagarn barrier. And one large enough to admit an airship, no less. Hmm. Nay, 
I lack the knowledge to devise such a weapon. But I know of one who could. A leading figure in the field of etheric research, and one of the finest scholars ever to grace Charlian. Matoya, my former master. I know who Matoya is and I can't wait. In my youth, I had the honour of studying under Matoya. In the field of etheric research, she was without rival. I have no doubt that her knowledge will be of aid to our cause. The question is, will she share it with us? My master has been ever has ever been willful. The gods forbid anyone disagrees with her. When the Galilean Empire first marched upon Aeosia some 15 years ago, the denizens of Charlian were summoned back to the motherland. However, Matoya refused to join the Exodus. To this day, she lives a hermit's life on the fringes of the abandoned city. So it is to the Dravanian hinterlands that we must go, to the place of my birth. Though Alice and I were born in Charlian, our days there were short. We remained only until the exodus, and I have not returned since. Oh, so it's to be a homecoming then. As fine a reason as any to go to Charlian, and it would afford us the opportunity to pay my master a visit. Um, I believe you have mistaken our primary objective, Yashitola. At any rate, the journey will take us through largely unknown territory. Let us first return to Ishgard and make our preparations. Okay. Still the tallest <laughs> whenever the like Elizans aren't here. Shalane is situated in the Dravanian hinterlands. Oh the Hunes. To get there, we must strike west and traverse the breadth of the Dravanian forelands. Make no mistake, it will be a grueling journey. Are you sure about that, Alfino? Are you sure it will be grueling? The party shall be comprised of Zera, Yishtola and myself. Tataru, pray remain in Ishkar and continue the search for our missing friends. Yes, sir. She's always just so ready to help out with stuff like that. First, let us make for tail feather. I swear if they're going to make me walk there. <laughs> uh, I did go to tail feather not too long ago. Oh, were you expecting me to walk this way? You know, you could have just been in there as well. You don't have to stand out here. A long soak in the live stream followed by a long journey. I would not recommend it to anyone. But rest assured my strength is returning to me. I should be back to my former self here long. I'm definitely going to get the samurai stuff, I think. I want to level uh, samurai and ninja, so rogue as well. Okay. 
I believe I am sufficiently rested. Let us continue west to Charlea. Once we descend the mountain path, we will arrive at the Dravanian hinterlands. From there, it is a, but a short distance to the city. Be warned that we shall be passing through Nath territory. We must needs be wary of them and the dragons both. Do I just need to get to the zone? I think I do. Oh yeah, it's outlined. <laughs> In which case... Oh no, it's going to be so difficult to get there. It's going to be such a trifling journey. I don't know how ever we will survive. I mean, just look at them all down there, ready to pounce on us at any second. At a moment's notice. Whatever shall we do, how will we make this incredibly tough journey? It seems almost impossible. There's just no way we will be able to make it. We require a lot of grits. Testing our metal. <laughs> I'll, I'll finish. We get this awesome narration again. To the Thaliac River, where to the melted snows of Abelathia's spine eventually find their way by means of a thousand silver streams. Whose waters have long nourished the Travanian hinterlands and so provided for a settlement of learned souls from across the northern seas. To the city of Charlian, that great seat of knowledge now abandoned by her keepers, they came. I was going to say, because I know the actual city of Charlian is in like. I want to say Endwalker. So we just get a, a taste. <laughs> Matoya dwells on, dwells on the far side of the Thaliac River. Let us search for a crossing. Oh, I need to change this. Unless it was just one line. <laughs> So, am I just able to walk there? So that would be very nice if I can. And immediately a fate. Ooh, hello, Aether Current. Yes, give. Damn you. Heated slug shots amazing. I mean, it looks cool.
<laughs> hey guys, how are you doing? In fact, you know what? I do want the stuff that they're giving me. <laughs> Professor, I'm right glad to see you made it here safe. Now, to work, the Holy See's got no idea what's here. It could be dirt or it could be gold. So we're here to find out what minerals are beneath the ground. My friend here is a proper naturalist. We've got a professor already, so I've taken to calling him Rocky. <laughs> Two academics, we're moving up in the world, lads. <laughs> I wonder if your name's just going to turn to Rocky from accompanying naturalist. Cause that would be funny. Aww. I guess they'd have to despawn and respawn him for a name change, probably. Now, Rocky will need something to examine. Digging it up is your job, Professor. Get a few samples. Three should do it. And bring them back here to me. Godspeed. They look weird. Oh, it's an interaction thing. For once. You obtain a chunk of unidentifiable ore from the mining point. Okay. Now we need another one. Outside the area. Ah. There's another one. Another identifiable piece of ore. Is the third one up there? Can't be. Well, I mean, it can. Well, I don't know why I'm worried about aggroing them. Can't <laughs> right now. They're kind of like a demon version of a sloth. Hey, you guys. I mean, I might as well. The damsel flies! I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. I saw the barrier earlier on. I guess it's gonna be up this way. I kinda had a feeling it would be. What the hell? Esper type Magitech Van Gob. I mean, while I'm here, it would be rude not to. Four ninety nine. Four ninety eight. Ooh, hard silver ore. This is a lot of stuff.
This is probably a waste now. 193, but guaranteed 193. Damn. And it doesn't use up one of my usages. I have to collect though now. Okay. Uh, let's go and do the quest then. <laughs> That's where I got the first two. Called the daggers, which I kind of have a feeling I know why they're called the daggers. There it is. Oh, great. An Urgnite? Why are you up there? By Ferry Ceres. Okay, that's all the mining points that I needed. Plus, I have a bunch of new stuff. Out. Well, you would be up there, right? <laughs> Here you go. Have you found something? Maybe. Was it going to be unobtaining or something? Or. Oh, uh, maybe Auric Alchem at this point? Or maybe Damascus? I'm just trying to think in terms of Final Fantasy XI, which way it went. But we didn't have Titanium, I don't think. Or it could be Adamant. That's my professor. Now, Rocky, earn your keep. What are these samples? Dear me, these are all contain hard silver. It's not something we had. It's a metal worth twice its weight in gold. Why, if you but dig a little deeper, you might well find a mountain of the stuff. Ha, that's music to my ears. Professor, let's see what, if we could prove there is a mountain neath our feet. You know what to do. Find me ten chunks of ore. I should have guessed. Well, we already got one. Getting the rest will be a breeze. And I'll just travel there while the ad's playing. Wait, can I? That one, hard silver. Search for recipes. I want to search for gathering spots. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't need that one. Um, it's 
not here. Okay. Well, let's get the collectible then. Nine ninety five or oh, nine forty six, but the chance for it not to use integrity. Let's get greedy. Damn it, it used it. <laughs> I wanted a thousand, god damn it. Again, it's not there. That was unlucky. That was lucky. Collect. And then... G, no. uh, gathering B. B for gathering. Got it. Oh, so I am in the right area at least. I just don't know the area well enough to understand where they spawn. But it is hidden. And I have an ability for that now. Where are the mining points? Are they all the way over here? I just didn't go far enough. No, they should have shown up by now on the map. Unless they're at a specific time. Nope, oh, there's one. There's two. Ah. What if I use Look of the Mountaineer? Yay. Keep getting the collectibles. That's what I want, but now I don't have what I need. Um, that's not enough either. Didn't feel like waiting, and I've never used one of those before. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Let's go back and turn it in. And then make out way to wherever I'd love to get to Idleshire I really hope I can and I really hope that's where I need to go for the quest because there's no other quest markers there 
Don't want to join all these fates, god damn it. Here's your mountain, yada yada yada. You're probably gonna tell me to go back to Ishgard to get my reward. You're a wonder, Professor. Well, Raiders, let's pack up and get the hells out of here. Captain, we were attacked by mechanical men and Hatchling gave ch- Oh, god damn it. What? He didn't go by himself, did he? He did. That stupid, stupid boy. If he comes back alive, I'll beat him bloody. Sorry for keeping you waiting, Captain. We don't need to fear them, them monsters no more. Though it weren't easy putting them down. You arrogant little ass! I told you not to run off on your own. Didn't that penetrate your thick skull? But what choice did I have, Captain? They were making for the camp. It was us or them. Then why not warn us? Was your link pearl broke? Don't tell me you didn't have the time. But, but, Captain... I, I, fine, I'm sorry. No bloody good deed goes unpunished in th this swiving company. We're done here. Get yourself home to Ishgard, Professor. I'll see you there. Give me the goddamn pickaxe now! God damn it! Oh, maybe the quest marker's not actually loading up because I'm on my gathering job. I changed to machinist. And they go dark. Da -da 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 -da. I do love this place though. As weird as it can be over there. The fact that there's goblins. Oh, speaking of goblins, Goblin Slayer Season 2. Episode 2 was amazing. Goblin Slayer. And I can't wait for the next episode. <laughs> Is that a broken Aetherite crystal? Well, they did say it was no longer in use. So it makes sense that they would be broken. I wonder if they eventually get fixed. That would be fun to change the map. Though it would make it kind of unfair to all the <laughs> newer players. Hey, there they are. Hey. So, friendly goblins. Independent tink. <laughs> I get it. Tarantula Hawk, no thank you. So. Oh, I gotta find a place to cross the river. Why is that such a 
Oh, that's why it's such a square. Okay, that. Yeah, this could be a problem. Except, you know, maybe going over there. Do we go in the swimming pool? We just saw it on the map. I'm like, is this a glitch? <laughs> My mile could be a pool of acid. Oh, it's not even a swimming. Oh god, that's such a waste. Jesus, what's the point of that? Oh, we just wanted a puddle in our backyard. It's called art, darling, isn't it? No, it's called a puddle. Right, this would be artwork. That? No. That's just someone being lazy and trying to get money for it and convincing all the dumb people. Oh. This is Idlesha. I must say the bagpipe sounds is are amazing. Bagpipes are great unless you stood two feet from them. Knowledge seeks no man, so says the motto of Charlene, engraved upon yonder stone. The meaning is simple. It falls to us to seek enlightenment. During the sixth astral era, at the turn of the 13th century, men from the northern nation of Charlene journeyed across the seas to Eorzea in search of knowledge. Upon arriving at these shores, they established a camp for their scholarly endeavours. Over time, this camp grew into a settlement, and the settlement pros prospered, and so much so that it came to be counted among Eorzea's great city-states. Alas, those glory days are now but a fading memory. With her keepers lost to her, Shalian has become an empty husk of her former self. Oh, Uplander is mistaken. Charlian has new keepers. It's on, is on cusp of new age of glory. Okay. Goblins. Goblins here to plunder the city. Ah, Uplander is mistaken, Muchly. We are not thieves. This place is our home. Your home? When last I looked, it was mine and Alfino's. We were born here. They could have been too. It's been 15 years. <laughs> When Uplanders abandoned city, Uplanders gave up claim. Born here or no, Uplanders are trespassers. <laughs> Dobbies were given socks. We are free. <laughs> Harry Potter. Just listening to them. How long can they go for? <laughs> My friends, please, we did not come to dispute your claim to this land. Our purpose is peaceful. We desire but to cross the river. 
Be calm, I beg you, and let us speak like the civilized folk that we are. Surely we could come to a mutual understanding. If that is truth, then Uplanders are welcome here. Come with Slowfix. Slowfix will show Uplanders settlement. What I want is a goblin. <laughs> this is basically coming from Gremlins 2. I want a goblin to drink an intelligence potion. And then <laughs> when that goblin's like becomes really intelligent and starts interviewing people on a TV show that he created <laughs> all in the space of like an hour. I want that, but I'd love for the goblin to speak like Uriange. <laughs> Just the really high and mighty posh, very long words that <laughs> you don't need to use. It's almost like golem. 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 Here is Heart of Settlement, name of Idleshire. What have we got here? Guests, Midnight Dew. Your parents were cruel, weren't they? Or hippies. Greetings to you, I am Alfino Lavellia. And may I introduce my companions, Zerebrit and the Yashtola. We have journeyed far in search of a friend, and seek to cross the river. But finding the main bridge collapsed, you went looking for a detour, and ended up stumbling into Slowfix and his crew, is that right? That is the short of it, I. This place, Idleshire, I came expecting a ghost town. Suffice it to say, I am surprised to find it so alive. Well, with all them precious artifacts laying about, it was only a matter of time before a treasure hunters like me moved in, but we weren't the first to arrive, neither. By then, Slowfix and his gobby friends were already settled. At first, gobbies and hunters disliked each other, but understanding came, then friendship. Now gobbies and hunters have joined hands to build a great new nation. So that is what happened after we Shalians departed. Oh, so you're locals. Mm, no hard feelings, I hope. All these nice buildings, but no one to live in them. Felt like a waste, you know. We've been trying to put the place to rights, and things have been going well for the most part, but it ain't all smooth sailing. Not to sound ungrateful, but the traps your people left lying about are a bloody nuisance. And there's the Illuminati harrying us day and night. Sorry, what? Oh, okay, the Sage has class quests here. That's nice. I always like it when jobs use certain places. Like, for me, for Machinist, it's Ishgard. Like, they're all out and about there. Cool. Slow fix has bright idea. Uplanders desire mutual understanding, yes. Best way to understanding is helping one another. Help citizens of Idleshire, and Uplanders can be citizens too. Citizens are free to cross river. Well, I am not aware of a quicker way to reach our destination. Let us assist Slowfix and his people. <laughs> Ciao! Uh, taking the Uchi Katana. Because I do want to level Samurai at some point. I'm going for all the DPS stuff. 
keeping up with ally oppose. Well, first things first, before I speak to him, or her, actually no, no. I'll just say them. There we go, before I speak to them. Unctuous Adventurer. Okay. Are you going to tell me I've attuned to all of the place? <laughs> yes. You've attuned yourself to all of the Ethernet shards in Edelshire. Edelshire. Epilogue gate is now accessible as an Ethernet destination. All of two. I'm going back. This was a priority. Where? Or are they inside? Oh, there they are. Wait, that's a kid. Oh, you're adorable. Hello, lady. Welcome to my shop. Well, actually, it's not like a selling things shop. If you want one of those, you'll have to go see Aunt Rowena. Did you know I'm her favorite, favoritist helper? Thanks for coming, though. I like meeting you people, and you seem really nice. My god, you are adorable. You have the favoritist worker. Yeah, it's probably not unlocked. I probably have to become a citizen first. No, this is all melee stuff. So I might take the rogue stuff. Oh, so Uplanders agreed to help? Good. Here's what Slowfix wants Uplanders to do. Many golems prowl at Idleshire, get in the way of expansion plans. Slowfix wants Uplanders to eliminate golems. Uplanders are Charlian, yes. Charlians should know best way to deal with creatures. Point, end, pull trigger. Wait, I have to talk to Ishtola. So we are to eliminate the golems. That should be a simple enough affair. The automata were employed as a sentinels and by design can be unmade with a coded command. At the time of the exodus it was knots and crosses and I see no reason why it should not still work. Let us divide the task between the three of us, the quicker to be finished with it. <laughs> Knots and crosses. I wonder how many Americans were like, but tic-tac-toe! How dare you call it Knots and crosses? You mean the actual name for it? Hi, are you gonna aggro as soon as I do this? If I could spell. God, that is that is horrifying. I would hate to be a golem and just knots and crosses. <laughs> just crumble to pieces. So horrifying. Whoop. 
Golems are no more. Wonderful. Now we can resume work to expand settlement. Um, take the knives. Probably pointless to take them, to be honest. I want the revolver, I think. Yeah. It's ever so slightly better. Skill speed is amazingly higher, though. I do lose crit, though. Oh, Uplanders help Gobby flock, earned right to be citizens of Idilshire, but slow fakes must ask for another favour. Another favour, you say? Short time ago, dear friend of slow fakes ventured into Illuminati territory. Illuminati and nasty goblins show no mercy even towards Gobbykin. Slow fix fears for friend's life. Please find friend before Ill Illuminati do. I am suddenly taken by a sense of foreboding. Be that as it may, we cannot turn a blind eye. Let us make haste and find Slowfix's friend. Guessing it's back out here? Yeah. And it also doesn't look like any quests have opened up. Guessing that's the way that crosses the river. I just wanted to check because I thought it says a zone is there. I always like it with the MMOs when you mount up but you can start running forward especially if you have a little bit of latency like I do because US server pay no attention to the monster in the lake I think I've s in this lake you mean in the barrier or something else Because I have an idea what's in there. You are stranger, you are sneaky peeker, you are thief working for Illuminati. You can't take these things, no no no. They are all for us. They're for all to enjoy, but Illuminati always try to steal and hide things. Tap clicks must be on constant guard. If you say you are a gobby friend, then prove it. Find Illuminati and defeat them. Drive them away from this place. <laughs> Kill people, you say? <laughs> Probably not the best idea to drop off the bridge. But yeah, I want to say that from when I saw Twiggy play, Alexander came out of here. By the power of gun. I will destroy you. There's another one. By the power of gun, I shall destroy you all. Yes. That was one part. This was the actual quest. 
But I did want Aetherite current. Or Aether current. Ray flux all talks. Oh, okay. Then the Illuminati incident. Okay. Just let me sit up. <laughs> Good oh. Leoplanda, long time no eye catch. What is bringing Uplanda here? <gasps> Does Uplanda have lusty eyes for Junk of Brave Flox? Uplanda must not be touching Junk of Bla Bra Brave Flox. Brave Flox is finding Junk first. I knew I recognised that voice. Greetings, Brave Flox. It has been a while. Forgive us for interrupting your work, but Captain Weisskate gave me to understand that you are marked by the Illuminati. This happens to be Illuminati-held territory. Is it wise to be here? Pshaw! <laughs> Brave flocks eat Illuminati for sunupses. I see. Pshaw! Who eats for who for sunupses? Wah! <laughs> Wah! <laughs> Bray Flux all talks. Unwise you are to come here after dirty taking secret knowings of cheese make from Illuminati. Cheese make? <laughs> Bray Flux did no unright. Cheese recipe is gobby birthright. Save tongue flaps for trading in death pit. What? It's a goblin tank. Pray to Godfathers for punishment is near times. It appears we have no choice. Hey Ishtola, we finally get to use the staff. Okay. Tremble before might of Illuminati. That's a whole lot of bombs. Oh, do I have to knock them into him? Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, let us open fire with the auto crossbow. And now we crit the face off of him. <laughs> 4200. Awesome. What the hell are you doing, Yastola? It looks amazing. I always wondered what all those bullets were that I saw on 
other machinists in videos. Now I know that it's just my second combo ability. Ether to me. Have at you. Have at me. Okay. <laughs> Tongue flap. She Illuminati, no match for furious gob fists of Brayflox. More junk is awaiting Brayflox much late. Brayflox is taking leave of Uplanders. God, we all look so good in our outfits. Being embroiled in a cheese war was the last thing I expected coming to Charlian. At any rate, we have fulfilled Slowfix's request. Let us return with the good th tidings and be on our way. Yes, let's. Oh, I actually need to go and turn that in first. So we will walk. I was just going to teleport there and like, nee. right here. <laughs> I was just going to continue. Psh, shka, you slew Illuminati fighty force. You are true gobby friend. The things here are for all people of Idleshire, but not, but Illuminati tried to steal them away. Illuminati is our enemy. Illuminati is your enemy. This means you are our friend. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Okay. Mama. May as well just walk it. You could teleport, but even I think that's a bit much. Oh, I just realized this is, this is very weird of a town. Normally you shouldn't have mounts in a town. Uplanders are back. Did Uplanders find friend of Slowfix? Oh, time has not cured recklessness of Brayflox. Without help from Uplanders, Brayflox would now be dead gobby. Slowfix owes Uplanders debt of gratitude. Slowfix and Brayflox are joined by unseverable gobby bond. If Slowfix had known that Uplanders are friends of Brayflox, Slowfix would have welcomed Uplanders to gobby flock at first meeting. Give me the gun. But it's full. Christ, uh, sort. Uh, 
I'm going to turn all of these in for seals, I think, or mostly. I'm going to place you in there, and I'll place you as well. Okay. <laughs> what time is it? Half six. <laughs> Ebb and Aether flow. Well played, well played. All the melee crap again. Core. Half six is very important task for trusty Uplander. Must be done with fastness. It's either that or it's half a dozen. No, because that's half six. A quarter of a dozen. <laughs> Aetherite of Idolsha needs of inspection, maybe needs upkeep too. If gobbies do not take a look and fix little problems, its spinnings may shudder and stop, or there is very big boom, but Half Six does not have the right tools. Uplander, there is no time to waste, Half Six needs Aether Flow distributors. The nearest to earn base of Illuminati, come, come raid their star pots. Great! That's a cool looking mount. Anyway. Leaving Idleshad. Don't really want any of those. I will take them though. Oh, uplanders have upheld bargain most highly. As promised, Slowfix makes uplanders honoured citizens of Idleshire free to cross river at will. Though uplanders must leave for now, Slowfix hopes that uplanders will pay it many visits and help build great new nation. You are most kind, my friend. You may be certain that we will return. I must confess, at first it upset me to learn that my home had been occupied by others, but I see now that it is in good hands. Under your care, I look forward to seeing Charlian thrive once more, to become a home to people of all races and creeds. Slowfix has already ordered the Gobwatch to let Uplanders through. Safe travels. Alfino, Zera, shall we then? Still not there, I think. But another quest is there, the Unctuous Adventurer. There's usually the blue ones meet and unlocks. Wondrous Tales. Well, the tales is spelt differently. I think this is the adventurous thing that you were talking about, FLC. Brit? Zera Brit? Gods, it really is you. I've heard the songs and tales, but to think the day would come that I'd meet you in the flesh. Whatever have I done to deserve such an honour? Drat of all the days to forget to polish my armour. She must think I'm a total bumpkin. Yes. But wait, dare I ask? No, I daren't. To impose on such a hero. Oh, but what is the harm in trying? Yes, I must try. You see, I'm in a bit of a bind. A pickle, if you will. You see, I've just taken on a task of sorts, a task far, far beyond the capabilities of a two guild green on like myself. But you, yes, a realm-renowned hero like you could tackle this monumental task in your sleep. <laughs> do, 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 do. It's just like a cat or a dog having zoomies just runs past my conversation. <laughs> uh... A renowned hero like you could tackle this monumental task in your sleep, blindfolded, and with both arms and a leg tied behind your back. So you'll do it for me, yes? Wonderful. Just head on, head over to Ruinas and tell Chloe Poe you're here to, you're there to help. 
Chloe Poe. Okay. Did did I say Chloe Poe? <laughs> uh, I meant Chloe Alia Poe. <laughs> that isn't my silly little nickname for her, and I certainly haven't been frequenting her shop every day for the past two moons. That uh, that her ever so cute little smile might brighten my dark and dreary days. Uh, but I've blabbered on enough, haven't I? Ta-ta! Hey, Chloe Poe. <laughs> Chloe Poe. Chloe Poe. Do these open? They do. Ooh. Tombstone and exchange. Oh, there's Rowena. Item level 270. But I don't have enough terms. I need to work on that. I need to get all of these. Well, all the ones that I need. So... Uh, machinist. What do they look like? Ooh. not a bad look what about black that I have access to ooh I kind of like that blue if we go back to blue the purples are always underwhelming to me it's so annoying but you're not too bad of it but I guess it's mostly for the pinks What does green look like? Yellow. The red doesn't look too hard, too bad. What about the um, star stuff? All right, jet black looks so amazing. What are the arms like? Yeah, I think I'm going to be keeping the arms that I have for the look of it. I mean, spoilers, dude. <laughs> but I kind of want to look what they're like. Item level 190. Okay. Oh, they're the earrings and wristbands. Right. Fair enough. Then that's all the helms and stuff. What do you look like? Yay. This is oh, you can't dye it? Well, that's that a waste of time. Hmm. Wait, do I not get a weapon? <laughs> Seems rather unfair. <laughs> oh, there we go. I don't like that at all. I always have to look. Precision Guardian Part Exchange. Okay. Okay. 
It's the crafting materials, most likely. Shire gear exchange. Item level 270. What do you look like? Eh. Two forty. Okay. Ooh, you're not actually too bad. Okay. I'm not going to be buying anything because I need to get the tombstones. Hi, Rowena. Why am I here, you ask? To seize an opportunity. What else? Don't misunderstand, though. The house is still headquartered in Revenant's Toll, and I'm not about to change that. Okay. Chloe Poe. Hi. Are you on catnip? <laughs> oh my god, look at the eyes. Hey there, lady. I'm Chloe. Chloe Aliapo. And who might you be? Because I have cat eyes. She should have cat eyes, but she has the really open ones. She's usually a shock, an existential crisis, or catnip, and <laughs> just high on life. Zerabrid? The Zerabrid? From all the stories? Wow, you're like a legend. A real living and breathing legend. This is so exciting. Did I tell you I love stories? Well, I do, and not just listening to them. I'm pretty good at telling them too. I have this friend whose mummy and daddy went away and never came back, and well, she gets lonely and cries sometimes, so I tell her stories to cheer her up. That's right, stories of brave adventurers like you. She's like my, she likes my stories. She stops crying and even starts smiling and laughing. Seeing her happy makes me happy too. But lately, she's just been staring off into space again. It must be my fault. I bet all my stories are starting to sound the same. But then I had an idea. Do you know what it is? I'll ask great adventurers like you to tell me your stories. And then I'll put them together to make new stories of my own. It's a really great idea, right? Tell me you think so too. So, will you help me? Rowena gives me all sorts of things when I work hard, so if you do this for me, I could give some of them to you. What sort of things? Well, tone stones for one, and, well, all kinds of other special stuff, but not my Mandragora pin. That's all mine. So, do me a favour. Remember all your bestest stories and write them in this no notebook here. I call it Chloe's Wondrous Tales. Because I have a tale, and I tell tales. Get it? I had a feeling that's why it was called that. <laughs> Every time your stories help me come up with a new tale of my own, I'll give you a present. It'll be a lot of fun for both of us, don't you think? Thanks, Zara. And by the way, you're even cuter than I pictured you from the stories. Tee <laughs> God. She is on something. I don't know what. But she's on something. <laughs> Welcome to Wondrous Tales. Henceforth you can share your tales of heroism and daring do for the chance to earn valuable rewards. To begin, you'll want to obtain a Wondrous Tales journal from Chloe Aliapo. In addition to the one you've just received, a new journal will be made available every week. Week? Within the journal is a card with 16 squares, 4 columns and 4 rows, each representing a certain quest or duty, or a, or a category of the same. Triumph in the corresponding adventure and the square will be marked off. You can mark off up to 9 squares on a single card. Complete the conditions described within, for example, marking off 9 squares, marking off 4 squares in a row and so forth, 
and deliver your marked journal to Chloe Alipo. And the story living Miko child will reward you accordingly. To view objectives and see which squares you've marked off as well as review reward conditions and time limits, you need only use the journal from the key items menu. A new journal will be available from Chloe Epo every week on Tuesday at 9am Earth time. Happy adventuring. 9am Earth time is different to my time though. Unless it's automatically adjusted to my time. Okay. Yeah. Hi there, Miss Zera. Did you come here to did you come to help Chloe or can Chloe help you? Either way I'm glad you're here. Okay. Then we get the certificates. What's the gold ones give? Uh, you get a sabotender. Oh god. A magic to children's bed. Wondrous Lana whistle. Is that what you have, FLC? Troll horn. I don't really want to troll. Yeah, it's looking like. Ooh, an Ixion? <laughs> Wait, what? Mm. Level 90. <laughs> Item comparison. It's a little bit of an increase. Item level 640. <laughs> Jesus. But what does it look like? I don't like it. <laughs> Silver. Ramus kit. Okay. Now oh, there's an advert playing out. Four Commander Earring. What exactly do you do? My ears are hidden because hat. Wind up Omega M. Okay. Brave new Urian J. It's kind of a spoiler. Tamamo headband. <laughs> this is. They shake. Like some level 610. That looks nice, though. Oh, kind of like that. Shame it's so far away. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, magic. These are fireworks. Dress up Thancred, Alice, Estinian, Kian, Chloe, Zloe, does she have a sister? Okay. So I got a Wondrous Tales. Where is it? Probably just blind. Oh, said I could use it for key items, couldn't I? Oh, that's so cute and adorable. Five hundred tombstones. Oh, you select one of them. And you get the XP, and then bronze, silver, gold. Although you could get 
and GP as well. Okay. Complete a duty in the following category. Okay. You can only complete nine, but you can get like four in a row. Okay. Oh, there's extremes? Oh, God. Yeah, I don't want to do that. A lot of the adventurers are high level, so you have to complete one of the lower ones you have unlocked. And you can do the lower dungeon again. To move that square off. Okay, so basically I could just concentrate on doing these. And ignore these. Okay. I'll definitely look into that off stream probably. <laughs> but this, this is great. Simply just the amount of tombstones, especially if you're doing these and also get tombstones. That means getting all the gear I want will be a lot easier. Uh, speaking of getting stuff, though, let's swap to my fisher. Because that's who I picked. Actually, no, I think I picked it on my culinarian. Oh well, whatever. Begging your pardons, miss, but I haven't got the time to chat right now. Finally hand this over. One of my little suppliers, eh? Well, now that's different. Pleased to make your acquaintance. As you can see, the house has come to Idleshire, but we've only just gotten started. It is our hope that with the help of hard-working folk like yourself, it won't be long before we're the centre of trade in these parts. And we'll do it by becoming the premier source of collectibles. Bring us whatever you've got and we'll pay you fair value in scripts. May this be the beginning of a long and prosperous relationship. Okay. You can now trade collectibles to Rarina's House of Splendors in Idleshire. You may also exchange scripts for items used by, usable by disciples of the land or hand by speaking with the nearby representative. Do I have any of the things? I don't think I do. Because I did mine a bunch of things, like these, but I think that's for something else. Because they're not showing up. Script Salvager. Okay. Hi again. Well, if I ain't one of our most reliable collectors, I've done nothing here. Got anything good for us today? Actually, hold that thought. Just remember that I've got something for you for a change. A favour to ask. You wouldn't happen to know a girl by the name of <laughs> Zloe Aliapo, would you? 
Sweet little thing, born into poverty, she worked her tail off for my sister until she paid off every last gill of her family's debts. Recently, she struck out on her own, renting out a corner of the hard place to run her own shop. Girl's got a note, nose for coin, that's a match for anyone in the realm. But she can also be a bit scatterbrained, which is what's keeping us up at night. We'd like nothing more than to stick by her side till she gets her new operation off the ground. But needless to say, we've got plenty on our own plates. That's where you come in. So what do you say? Think you could play, pay Zoe a visit and see that the girl's making ends meet? It'd mean a whole lot to Rowena and me. Yay. She's inside? Nope, on the other side. No, oh, she's inside here. Are you also a kid or are you full size? <laughs> I think you're full size. Why yes, I'm Zloe Aleppo. However, did you know? Am I famous? That's so exciting. And also somewhat terrifying, but most certainly exciting. Oh, but pray tell, whoever might you be? Mistress Gamelone has sent you to look after me? Why, how sweet of her to ask. And you and you to come, of course. Speaking of sweets, have you tried <laughs> Addy Crag's pineapple pudding? It's so smooth and sensuous and... Where was I? Oh, of course. I'm doing quite well, thank you for asking. She's the ADHD character. Okay. Just gotta pretend I'm talking to La Fay. <laughs> With a loan I took out of, from Mistress Rowena, I rented out a room here in the cellars of the hard place. Can you guess what I'm using it for? Actually, let me just tell you, I'm running an orphanage. I call it Menfina's Arms, because it's like she's holding the orphans and keeping them safe in her arms. Get it? I'm still new to this, but I've already learned so much. For one thing, running an orphanage is really expensive. So I've had to skimp on a few luxuries, food, clothing and the like. Why, the last thing I ate was Ad <laughs> Adkirag's pineapple pudding, and I had to make a single bowl last the week. It was a rather large bowl, mind you, but still. But this isn't about me. It's about the children and everything I could be doing for them. If only I had more gill in my coffers. Don't worry, though. Slowly as a plan. What sort of plan, you ask? You're looking at it. I've started my trading business right here in this little corner of the hard place. I acquire rare treasures and relics from the realm over and sell them to wealthy collectors for price at up for princely sums. Oh, if only I could marry a prince, all my worries would be... Wait, what were we talking about? Hmm, what's in it for my suppliers, you ask? I was just getting to that. Seeing as how I'm on such good terms with Mistress Rowena, you say. You see, I was thinking I could pay them back in scripts they could spend at the House of Splendors. I haven't actually asked her yet, of course, but I'm sure she'll say yes. Did I mention that we were really, really good friends? You know a thing about crafting, too. I knew this was Loi's lucky day. Almost as lucky as the day when that nice old man paid ten times what that stone was worth. A whole a hundred gill. Just because I reminded him of his granddaughter. Anyhow, what do you say? You can be Loi's number one procurement specialist. You'll do it, won't you? For the children? I look like I'm about ready to rob this place. <laughs> oh, you're the best. The absolute best. I knew it the moment I saw your face. With you on my side, Zloe's house of almost splendors. I'm still working on the name. We'll be turning a profit in no time. And Menfina's arms will spread wide and hold every poor orphan in a loving embrace. Anyhow, let's make this official. Zera, was it? Zloe is oh so looking forward to doing business with you. 
Did I say that for every collectible you bring to me, I'll pay you in scripts redeemable at Rowena's House of Splendors? I did? Good, because that's exactly what I'll be doing. Provided Rowena pr approves, of course. Which she will, I promise. Oh, this is gonna get funny. That's how Rowena pays her hard-working employees, after all. No guild, just scripts. Why, I can still remember her counting them out. One script, two script, red scripts, blue scripts. She'll be positively thrilled that Zlo is following in her footsteps. I just know it. I see the sparkle of curiosity in your eye. But Zloe, you ask, without any guilt to your name, however, did you purchase food, drink, and other basic essentials of daily life? You weren't wondering that. Well, Zloe will tell you anyway. At Rowena's House of Splendors, you can purchase an enormous flagon of pineapple juice for the low, low price of only 130 scripts. And who needs food when you have pineapple juice? Not Zloe, that's for sure. Mmm, pineapples. Oh, God. <laughs> You've been living off of pineapple juice? You do realise that pineapple is essentially an, an enzyme and eats you? <laughs> Kinda? But where were we? Oh, you're probably wondering exactly what sort of treasures I'm looking for. Well, I'd be happy to explain. Zoe has her eyes set on exotic treasures of Near Eastern make and design. A little bird told Zloe that <laughs> Near Eastern culture is all the rage among the Ishgardian nobility these days and who is Zloe to disappoint such potentially generous customers? I'm counting on you, friend, and remember so are the children. <laughs> okay. I think I'm going to be coming here a lot. Custom deliveries unlocked. Hell yeah. Satisfaction guaranteed, Zloe Alipo. Please give me a title. Oh, Wait, there's a... There's a second one. And a third, I think. Achieve a satisfaction level of two, three, four, five. Which gives you Zloe's friend achievement. I want it. Okay. Hey, Zloe. Welcome, Zera. Here to help me do Mephina's work, I take it? Let's see how many smiles we can put on the children's faces today. Six remaining. Ah, oh, so it's limited. Hi, Puncher. How are you? I hope you're well. The items sought by Zloe fall into three categories. Crafted items, obtainable by Disciples of the Hand. Gathered items, obtainable by Disciples of the Land. And fish! Furthermore, Zloe deals only in collectibles. I mean, I always want KFC in my life. I had it the other day, though. In order to deliver an item, you must be its corresponding class and level 55 or above. If you are level 89 or below, you will be awarded experience points instead of the level 90 scripts reward. Okay. Information on how to find individual items may be found in the following manner. For Disciple of the Hand items, choosing the search for item by crafting method subcommand will lists selected with the list selected will bring up the crafting log and relevant recipes. Materials necessary to craft these items may be purchased from the material supplier in Idlesh's Free Walks Round Spot. For Disciple of the Land items, Choosing the search for item by gathering method subcommand will bring up the gathering log and the recipes in question. For knowledge on fish, choosing the display location subcommand will bring up the map of, rele of the relevant fishing hole. Furthermore, you may discover that using a metal spinner as a loo will expedite your fishing endeavours. I think I can make that. The higher an item's collectability, the greater the reward you will earn from Zloe upon successful delivery. To learn more about collectibles and how to increase collectability, speak with Zloe Alipo and select Learn About Custom Deliveries. So I have to have specific ones. Oh, wait, that's what I have in my hand. Uh, 
Uh, I do have some of them. Ah. Okay. Well then. If I had to go through it all. I have like 606, 618, 946. This is a form of ancient currency once minted in Radz Atam, said to be a remnant of ancient trade routes long since abandoned. It's sure to strike the fancy of any connoisseur of Near Eastern history. Now let's take a closer look. Oh, Zera, it's absolutely stunning. So stunning that it's a shame I have to sell it. But I will make the ultimate sacrifice for the children. In making your first successful delivery, you have begun to earn Zloe's trust. With each successful delivery, Zloe will grow more and more satisfied with your efforts. Fill the gauge completely and Zloe's satisfaction level will increase, giving you the opportunity to learn more about your business partner. You can make up to six deliveries in a given week. Deliver the items Zloe needs and deliver them often to win the trust and praise of your new business partner. Jesus, <laughs> 30 already. I wish I had one more now. Uh, it's above 600, which is the threshold. Oh, and I'm getting the White Gatherer's scripts. Whoa. He leveled it up already. <laughs> I'm happy to say that your Near Eastern treasures have found no end of fans among the Ishgardian aristocracy. Why, with only the funds that I have poured in thus far, I can safely say that Menfina's arms will stay welcomely wide open for, well, at least the next couple of days or so. Fall of the House of Usher. Never heard of it. Heard of Usher? If it's the same thing. Um, do I usually choose the crispy or original KFC? We just get. Me and my parents usually get together for it. Um, and we get the Wicked Variety Bucket, which has got hot wings for me and my mum. Um, sometimes my dad gets like extra strips because of his teeth <laughs> but mostly it's just drumsticks and breasts and stuff but is Loi going to rest on her laurels perish the thought not when there are countless children still yearning for warmth and love I can count on you can't I Zara always oh thank you this calls for a celebration why yes I think I'll treat myself to that last bite of pineapple pudding I've been saving since last week Oh my god. <laughs> All the pink. <laughs> if anyone deserves it, it's you, Mrs. Lowe. You're always working so hard to put food on our plates. I mean, you could just downgrade the clothing a little bit and probably sell it and you'll make far more money. <laughs> Hello, lady. Who are you? This is Zera, a famous adventurer. She's the one who's helping Miss Loe turn her trading business around. You're an adventurer, Miss Zera? My mummy and daddy are adventurers too. I wish you could meet them. 
Mummy and Daddy are the strongest adventurers I've ever seen. They're always keeping the people of Idlesha safe from nasty monsters, or at least they were. The other day they went off to hunt something called Elite Mark. <laughs> They said they'd be home by sundown, but I haven't seen them since. Mrs. Lois says they probably just got lost. Anyway, I was so scared and lonely all by myself. But then I met Miss Lois. She's been so nice to me, just like a big sister. Sometimes she forgets to unlock the door or feed us. <laughs> what? But I know that that's just because she's busy. Right, Miss Lois? I just met you, Miss Sarah, but I like you too. Anyway, I'm going now. My best friend promised she'd tell me a story about dragons. I just love dragons. See you later, Miss Chloe, Miss Sarah. Have fun talking to Chloe. That's Tekebi. Just between the two of us, search parties have been scouring the land for any sign of her parents, but nothing. I know I shouldn't get the poor girl's hopes up, but I simply haven't had the heart to tell her the truth. Besides, Manfina may still work a miracle yet. The day after her parents disappeared, poor little Takebi rushed out from her home to the city gates. She waited there day and night, in the beating rain and blustery wind, just so she could greet her dear mother and father with a smile the very moment they returned home. When I found her, she was sniffling and shivering in the cold, and that was when my inspiration struck. I would start an orphanage right here in Idilshire and take in all the poor children like Tkebi, who were crying out for a gentle helping hand. And that's why I must keep to the task. Benfina's arms must spread wider and wider, that no child need no such pain and loneliness ever again. Rumble, rumble. Is it supper time yet? Oh. I'm not going to take food because I'll eventually be able to craft it. Oh, she's giving me all of it? Satisfaction up. Now considers you a friend to the orphanage. <laughs> Yay. She now considers you a friend to the orphanage. And yet there is still much work to be done before the finances of Menfina's arms are stable. To that end, Zloli Aliapo has a new favour to ask of you. Thanks to you, we're doing better than we were at least. Zoe's, at least Zloli's paying the rent now. <laughs> But I'm afraid to say Manfina's arms is still a long way from achieving true financial stability. So Zloe got to thinking, perhaps we've been doing ourselves a disservice by limiting our dealings to the Ishgardian nobility, no matter how wealthy and generous they might be. That's why Zloe's decided to look the realm over and look big. I'm talking about consortiums, cooperatives and conspiracies? Commiserations? That doesn't sound right. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is I've found a promising new client. Master Gegiruju of Gegiruju Shipping. <laughs> have you been to his resort in Costa del Sol, Zera? Yes, I have. They say the sun shines bright on waters clear every day of every year. To he that rhyme, didn't it? Oh god, Zlo is amazing. <laughs> As, a, as an NPC. Anyway, I had, I had an idea. What sort of rare trinkets and treasures do you think might tickle the fancy of those who live in a world of endless summer? If you're thinking cool and refreshing relics from the bleak, blustery highlands of Coerthus, then I guess great minds think alike. Yes, this is the perfect opportunity to build upon the foundation we've laid. What do you say, Zara? Are you with me? Nod. The custom deliveries list for Zloe Alapa has been updated. To view the new list, speak with... Okay, and select make a delivery. 
Welcome back, Zera. I'm happy to say that the children are smiling more and more with each passing day. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. Wait, that's also botany? Uh, one moment. Botanist. Open up the saddlebags. Take out the stalagmites. Need to go and get another one. They're not the best. Oh, never mind. They are decent quality. Ice stalagmites formed by the dripping of pure cavern waters over long periods of time are known for their crystal clear purity. Speaking of which, what's the difference between a stalagmite and a stalactite again? Well, stalag with a G comes from the ground pointing up. Stalactite or stalag with a C comes from the ceiling pointing down. Uh, either way, this is sure to fetch a good price. Now let's take a closer look. Oh, Zara, it's absolutely stunning. So stunning that it's a shame. Yeah, I've seen that before. Ba, 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 ba. 480. It's a shame it's six per week. Yeah. Can I get anything new from the script exchange? Because I've done a bunch of collector's stuff already. I like that you can summon your retainers. Script exchange. Blue Gatherer's script token. Okay. I want to look at the gear though. Hey, finally. Oh, they're all different. Ooh, 60 GP. That's pretty darn, darn good. I need GP quite a lot. This is a item level 50, 47, 45. Okay, I think I know what I'm buying. Fishing rod item level 200. Yeah, I'm gonna be busy off stream. What's the crafter's gear though? They're all different. <laughs> no. Oh, that's awful. They're all specific. Oh, no. <laughs> that's why I like the adept stuff. It's all one type. This is awful for Omnicrafters. Although it means I would have more reason to, you know, clear out my inventory. I also don't have the Crafters script. Okay. I definitely know what I'm going to be doing. Off stream. What recipes? Ooh. That... I think I have this. No, that's... 10. Okay. Uh. 
Okay. So I am going to just straight up buy whatever I can from down here. Because these are really, really dice. The amount of GP they give, I could really do with. You only get one set of earrings, one choker, one wristband, but two rings. So what am I at? 449 and 474 and 475? Wait, I bought more than that, right? Oh, that. Okay. Recommended gear. Yeah, good, it's changed everything. 449, 474, 547. They only went up slightly, but the GP is what I was interested in. 642. Yeah, it's pretty good. Now I need to do this. Fisher. Whip. Awesome. Splendor's bigger. What are you? Ah. I guess I'll find out what they're for. Tome of Geological Folklore. Tales gathered from local coerth and miners regarding the location of legendary ore veins and gem deposits. Okay. I definitely need to look into all of this at some point. What's the junk manga? Oh, okay. Wait, didn't she say a metal spinner would help me? I can honestly probably make it. Maybe. Or maybe not. Because my goldsmithing isn't high in... Oh, maybe it is. <laughs> I know I've seen fishing. Somewhere. Fishing tackle. Oh, it was with bladed steel jig. <laughs> Item level 150, which is even better than that. The Adamantite Nugget. Probably make this. If I had one more silver, hard silver ore. I know I have Cloud Mica. Yeah. Okay, so at least I know now that I need to do something. There was a star in here. Mm, Carbuncle, but a Pikachu version of Carbuncle. Pika Pika. Uh, paint can. Okay. Do, boom, ba, do, 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 do. I also need to check over here, but I think it 
it's fine. I want to check everything at least. But I know I'll have stuff to do offline. That's for certain. You're the tinker and the trader. Okay, all really expensive, but understandable why. You're the repair. Okay. Materia vendor. Smacklicks. Pishka. As disciples of the great master Mutamix, we have much knowledge of Stony Shine. Uplanders love Stony Shine, yes? We make for you best price. Machimata. Okay. I have seen them somewhere. I think it was trading for them. Now I know. And there was. Proto Ultima Accessory Exchange. Okay. Item level 270. Okay. And I think that's it for Idleshire. Just searching around everything. But I think... Oh, I, I remember them, I think, right? Maybe not. Maybe someone else. Oh, hello. Goblin cups, okay. Hate that it's all different jobs, <laughs> especially as an Omni crafter. Look at gear improvements. Okay. Fair enough. I think that's just to upgrade gear that you had so you don't lose it, maybe. Anyway, I think. I think I'm gonna call it here for the stream because I want to go and rest my eyes a little bit because they're still as they were yesterday. My left one mostly. It's just starting to sting and before this next ad kicks in in 18 minutes. So yeah, I will hopefully see you tomorrow, probably for more of this. I don't know if I'm going to start the Hildebrand quests yet I may wait for them because I do want to start them but I mostly just want to progress the story the MSQ so I can actually do more stuff like I really want to get to Stormblood as well <laughs> but anyway we are gonna go and raid Red Skier Playing Lords of the Fallen, a game that I will never play. 
And I hope to see you tomorrow. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.